Can you believe we're this deep into the NFL season? We got to make every second count. With DraftKings Sportsbook, you can make the most out of every game day. Bet on your favorite teams for a shot at winning big bucks. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting five on any matchup. Get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the app now. Use code SHANNON. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting just five bucks on the NFL. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SHANNON. The crown is yours. Can you believe we're this deep into the NFL season? We got to make every second count. With DraftKings Sportsbook, you can make the most out of every game day. Bet on your favorite teams for a shot at winning big bucks. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting five on any matchup. Get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the app now. Use code SHANNON. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting just five bucks on the NFL. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SHANNON. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Nightcap. Well, Daycap. Thank you for joining us. Please make sure you click that subscribe button, that like button. We're now officially at 334,000 subscribers. Remember, Ocho, get us to 350 by Monday. And we'll run a huge giveaway. Ten thousand forty yeah. uh five hundred dollar winners. Mm-hmm. With the holidays, I'm sure people some people can use that. Yeah. And that's what we're here for. We're gonna make sure we give back to the people that's been supporting us from day one. So thank you for subscribing. Make sure you click that like button. We've also pinned Shea by Laportier link at the top of the chat. So make sure you go in there and grab your bottle. The holidays around the corner, uh, plus birthdays, Christmas is coming up. Uh, mm-hmm. Thanksgiving just left, Christmas, New Year's. Make sure you grab a bottle for that special person or someone in your life. Thank you. Thank you again for being so supportive of not only Nightcap, but Shea by Laportier. Let's get right into it, Ocho. The Dolphins mm-hmm. go to the Meadowlands, Meadowlands, go to Met Stadium and beat the Jets 34 13. Tua, 21 mm-hmm. of 30, 243, one touchdown, two picks mm-hmm. and a fumble. Mm-hmm. Tua now has five turnovers in his last two games. Yeah. Three today, two against the Raiders. Reek, mm-hmm. nine catches, the buck to a touchdown. He now has 1,324 yards on the season. Mm-hmm. With six games left, he yeah. needs to average 113 yards per game to get to set the record. What right. does he need to go over 2K? What does he need to average to go over 2K? Okay, to go over 2K. So he needs 676 yards to reach 2,000. That's definitely possible. That's definitely oh. possible because – I. With him, he needs to have one that big game, Ocho. He needs to have that 200 yard game, game, yep, yep. And then now he can cruise the rest of the way, he can cruise the rest of the way, yep. Javon Holland, (laughs) the Jets get right back in this thing with a pick six of their own, yeah. And then look like they're driving, and then a Hail Mary, Javon Holland picks a a Hail Mary, Mary. a H E L L Mary, yeah, and runs it back 99 yards. Uh, 
another low point for the Jets because not mm -hmm. only did they miss the PAT Team. after they got their pick six, mm -hmm. now you turn around and get another interception, interception and you turn around and give it right back to the to the uh, uh the Dolphins. The Dolphins, yeah. So another low life for the uh, uh, uh Jets on Thanksgiving. Remember, Ocho, mm -hmm. the yes, butt sir. fumble happened on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. in 2012. Yeah. Mark Sanchez, so the yeah. The Jets like, damn, damn, like Florida Evans, damn, 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 damn. damn. Just can't get right. And again, I have a question for you. Uh, yes. Obviously, to me, you know, I've, I've been in, in huge support of Zach Wilson, you know, ever yes. since Aaron Rodgers went down and mm -hmm. understanding the makeup and the DNA of what of what Aaron Rodgers had to work with. It wasn't going to be that of what we thought it was. Just the simple fact that Aaron Rodgers is there with the Jets. We thought, oh, my goodness, all problems will be fixed. And, you know, we're going to make a Super Bowl run. But you understand the landscape of the team in general, the landscape of the offensive line, regardless of who you put at the helm, regardless of who you put back there, you know, to run, it's just not going to be efficient. You know, we all, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of fans, I kept rooting for Zach for the simple fact that the reason is it's nothing for him to work with. It's nothing for him to work with. They have a great receiving, great receivers. They have really, really good receivers, especially Garrett Wilson and Alan Lazard. Garrett Wilson, yeah. But as far no. as everything else, in order for that offense to work, they have to have a foundation, a good foundation. It all starts – up front. It all starts up front. So regardless of who you put back there, these are the results you're going to get week in and week out, no matter who it is. I think the thing is, Ocho, when you're dealing with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, he yes, knows sir. where to go with the football. Mm -hmm. right. So you're going to probably get better results. I'm not saying you're going to be undefeated. I'm not going to say you're going right. to have one or two wins because mm -hmm. I give you a prime example. Look at the Kansas City Chiefs. With yeah. Alex Smith, they're in the playoffs mm -hmm. every year. They oh, get yeah. Patrick Mahomes, they go to an entirely different level. So right. I'm not saying that the Jets are going to all of a sudden be you know, have one loss, one, two losses. But mm -hmm. I think the mindset changes when you got a historically and a Pantheon great quarterback right. under center. Now mm -hmm. you no longer hope to win. You expect to win. Expect to win. Now you right. see that defense ball out longer and harder because mm -hmm. they know every opportunity that they give Aaron Rodgers, mm -hmm. he's probably going to cash it in or at least have a better situation than what they're showing right now. Right. So right. I agree with you. It's not the cupboard. It mm -hmm. is, is, it's not b bur bursting with talent. It's right, not right, right, right. And you mentioned Alan Alan Lazard. You do realize he was a healthy scratch today, right? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He he was he was he was out today. You think he was healthy? You think he was healthy? They said a healthy scratch. So tell the people at home that don't understand football lingo like you mm -hmm. and I. What does healthy right. scratch mean? Now this is a good one. This is a good one for me because I'm listen. I played for a very long time, as did you, and this is the first time I've ever heard of a actually a healthy scratch. Which means this must have been something that something internal that mu that must have happened. Yeah, he's not playing I, I, well. That's what's internal. In 10 games, he has 20 catches, 290 yards, and a touchdown. And they're paying him 44, paying him $11 million a year. That's what's internal. That's Ooh. what's going on. Wait a minute. So he's a, I, I, I doubt he's a healthy scratch because of, because of that. Because I'm just that going by what the television the said. I'm just going by what the report oh, yeah. said. I, I, don't, I don't think they know what they're talking about. I don't think they know what they're talking about. They, 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 they definitely not going to use Lazard as no goddamn scapegoat. I, I, I yes, would hope Alan they don't do Lazard that. is a healthy scratch versus the Dolphins. Yeah, I, I, NFL.com says I heard, Alan Lazard I, I, is a healthy scratch against the Dolphins. Oh, Joe, at some point in time, you're going to run out of excuses for the receivers. I'm not now. making no excuses. You, how you going? Wait a minute. First, you, the, the, the offensive line plays bad. The quarterback now got plays to bad. Alan so now you're trying that. to say. We passed. No, we passed that. We're talking about Alan Lazard being a healthy scratch. Don't go back to the offensive line. I'm just, they got wait. to do with him. So, wait a minute. In order for in order for him to get to get the balls. To be productive, what else does he need? So why isn't why isn't Garrett Wilson a healthy scratch? Why isn't Conklin a healthy Wait, scratch? Who said who said that was the reason he's a healthy scratch? NFL.com is reporting that Alan Lazard is a healthy scratch. Why is he a healthy scratch? Is what I was asking. I said you something know, might have. I said something might have happened. He's internal. averaging two catches a game and he's making eleven million dollars a year. Could Wait, that he, clear it up for you? So so you blaming him for that? You blaming Lazard for the for, for the attempt to come blaming? his way? Who you blaming? Wait a minute, you can't be serious right now. Who you blaming? Are you blaming Lazard for the opportunities that he's caught that have come his way? I'm asking you if he's a why isn't Garrett Wilson a healthy? We don't scratch? we don't know why he's a healthy. We don't know why Alan Lazard is 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 is, is a healthy scratch. We don't know. I said it was something. The twenty seven year old struggles. To, hold on. The, the 27 year old struggles to create separation, has four drops. His 9.8 drop percentage is second worst among all receivers with at least 30 targets. Let's try again. Now go ahead, take off. 
So wait a minute. So he's the only motherfucker. Excuse me, I ain't mean to curse. No, no. God forgive me. We're talking about him. Don't talk right. about everybody else with receivers. Okay. We're talking about Alan talking Lazard. About him. That is no reason for nobody to be a healthy scratch because I can bring up stats for everybody dropping balls. I can do the no, same no, no, thing. No, no. Okay, but I'm, I'm just Ocho. saying that's not a reason why he's a healthy scratch. That makes no sense. What you mean that it makes doesn't? No sense. Well, so okay, it, tell me it what don't makes make sense. no sense. You talk about oh. oh, he's a healthy scratch because he dropped goddamn ball. Who the fuck don't? He's not playing well, Ocho. Why can't it's a, you accept it's a that? Bunch of, it's a bunch of receivers not We're playing talking well. About not him. Ocho, Ocho, Ocho. See, what you try to do is talk about what no, this guy what, dropped off. No, what you're not talking about everybody what, what, else. Let's what, what, deal with what, what we have. It don't matter. What they're trying to do is find a goddamn excuse and find, trying to find a, go a goddamn scapegoat by making him healthy scratch. And it ain't for the motherfucking work. It ain't going to work. It already worked because they no, sat it him it down. Work. And it, you <laughs> know, it ain't for the work. They think they slick. They think the, the way the business no. is run is some goddamn, it's, it's a bunch of bullshit. First it's of a bunch all, of it's a bunch of bullshit. Alan oh, Lazard and oh. Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb, I, I think he was active today, but he was inactive the last two weeks. Yeah. And Randall Cobb and Lazard, can't Aaron Rodgers, at Aaron Rodgers' re request, yeah. they're making $15 million, And they haven't got the production that right. they thought they were going to get. There have been other receivers that's playing with bad quarterbacks that doesn't drop 9-10% of the passes, that has more than 20 catches in 10 games. So stop trying this. Are you? Are we talking about the same Jets offense that we've been seeing for the past ten weeks? That same offense that can't throw a goddamn ball down the field or anything past five yards. Hold on, that same just, Jets offense we talking about? Is yes. that the Jets offense we talking about? The, the same one where we blame that... Zach Wilson for every goddamn thing and he running for his life every time he dropped back. That goddamn Jets offense. How yes, do you expect the, same... the receivers to produce if they can't even get the goddamn ball off? The same Jeff's office that you told me last the last two weeks that Alan Lazar dropped too many passes. He got to make those plays, and you know that he he will. And, and if he gets and another opportunity, listen, that what Alan they, What they doing? What they doing? If they think I, they slick over, I'm they, just they, they, what they, you they, they think they slick. They think they slick over there in New York, I'm, trying to use Ocho. him at the skateboard. Ocho. He's making he's making the money he's making based on what he's been able to do. But now he's at a shit show, and he can't produce like he should. And now we're gonna have him a healthy scratch and try to put the goddamn onus on him. That's no. some fucking bullshit. So. So he's so he's the only one that's playing with a poor quarterback and a poor offensive line that's not producing. Who, who else? Who, who else? Who I else no, no. Who, you tell name, me. Name who else? You told else? you the one that's out here please, telling the puppy. Please you, let's you, look at the let's look at the landscape of the Go NFL. Ahead, take off. Who else is bad? Who else is take bad? Off. As bad as that? Huh? You you're telling me. So I want you to name the players. That's your argument. I, I didn't make I, that argument. That, no, I'm I'm asking you the question. You say no, 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 I don't see no, I don't see nobody. I'm not gonna, else. I'm not, I'm not gonna complete 30, your test for you. 30, wait a minute, listen to me now. Stay with me, baby. It's 32 teams in the NFL. Yes. I ain't heard of a healthy scratch in I don't know how long. As long as I played, I never heard of having a healthy scratch because they weren't producing. Never heard of I that have. ever before. I'll, I'll, never. Ocho. Ocho. All of a sudden, oh now Ocho. he's not living up to his expectation. He's a healthy scratch. Ocho. I know what it sounds like to me. I know Ocho. what it sounds like to me. You know Ocho. what? Well, we gonna blame what? What? What was? It? Why? Why didn't they make Zach Wilson a healthy scratch? Huh? Why didn't they he's make the, the quarterback? He's healthy the number scratch? three. He's the number three. Uh, all right. He's number three. Travis Simeon was number here two. We here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. But Ocho. All right. But you want the you want the people at home to believe that in your 11, 12 year NFL career. That you never heard of a healthy scratch that somebody no, that let, wasn't listen. playing well. I'm just hold on, Ocho, hold on. Wait, my mayor thing fell out. Hold on. God damn it. My, my bad, baby. I'm coming. Hold on. Go ahead. God damn it. Maybe just swallow it because you damn sure weren't listening. All right, there you go, right there. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Sorry, so, sorry about that. So you want the people that's listening to us now yeah. or watching us now yes, to sir. believe in your 11, 12-year career. 13, 13. Never heard, 13 year career yeah. that you never heard of a player that wasn't playing the way the team thought he would should and be scratched from the ball game. You've never heard of that. Absolutely not. No, wow. Absolutely not. And Uncle, I wouldn't sit here and lie to you, baby. You know okay. I wouldn't lie to you. I know I play around a lot, but you can see how passionate I am about this goddamn topic. So you know I'm not playing around. Listen, mm -hmm. Alan Lazard, Cobb, 
Garrett Wilson give you your best chance to win, regardless of what they have offensively at receiver. They give you your best chance to win. Shit is already bad. So you take one of the best that have been very productive. Let me finish. That have been very productive throughout their career to this point. That was brought over at the request of Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers got hurt. So you mean to tell me one of the best that have been productive with Aaron Rodgers all of a sudden comes over and he's not playing the part because the entire offense in itself ain't doing a goddamn thing, but he's a goddamn healthy scratch because he can't produce. Well, maybe make they're that, not make that make motherfucking sense. That's well, like maybe. me having a that's like me having a goddamn car and riding no goddamn four donuts, and I'm mad. I got I can't goddamn drive like it, it ain't driving like it should. Well, may, maybe there's a reason not, why Alan Lazard is not Devontae Adams. Maybe he maybe maybe his stats are a little bit more glorified because of Aaron Rodgers. And so without Aaron Rodgers, it's not working. Have you thought about that? Did that thought ever cross your mind? It's a simple yes or no. No, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't like where you're going with that because <laughs> Devonte Adams. Is, listen, Devonte Adams is Devonte Adams. He has a different type of DNA about him. Alan Lazard is Alan Lazard. He's a completely different type of receiver than the comparison that you just made. And more reliant on great quarterback play than Devonte Adams is. Thank you. You make my point. Child, please. All right. Next up, next up, that, <laughs> next up. Well, I'm well, you got me 38 hot, boy. I'm mad. You should, I'm, hold on. Hey, you mad at right? me? You should be mad at me. I'm, 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 not, I'm not mad at you. I just know you know the business and you know what the fuck they slick at trying to pull over there, trying to have him at a fucking healthy scratch, knowing goddamn well. My boy, you put Jerry Rice in that goddamn offense, he'll look just like that, too. Hey, that's how bad it is. And I mean, whoa, and I, whoa, I mean, no. Come on, man. What you mean you don't mind? You, you see what's, you see what's going on Ocho. over there? Do you see Ocho. what's going on? We done watched the Jets for the past 10 goddamn weeks, and you think Alan Zard has anything to do with the motherfucking issues in that goddamn offense. That's bullshit. I just want you to understand that when you put your hands up like this here and so and say no disrespect, disrespect, whether intent doesn't matter. Well, I didn't because say anything here, disrespectful, though. I didn't say anything disrespectful. But, but you said no disrespect. I'm just trying to tell you, whether you intended it or not, when right. you say what you said, it's going to mm -hmm. be disrespectful because intent only matters to you because right. you didn't intend it to be disrespectful. But right. the person that's receiving the criticism mm -hmm. is going to feel just as I didn't, disrespectful. I didn't, I, didn't I didn't criticize nobody. I just said as a whole in its entirety. And we've all so, watched it for the past 10 weeks. And all I've done is done my due justice and due diligence in trying to get people to understand that are watching. There's a reason why number two isn't to be isn't able to be efficient at what he does is because of more than just a goddamn Alan Lazard, Alan Lazard, more than just Garrett Wilson, more than goddamn uh, Randall Cobb. It's more to it than just that. And you know that. You could, you could, you goddamn put goddamn Mother Teresa at goddamn quarterback and she going to be pissed because she'll walk right off because there ain't nothing she going to be able to do either. But you and I both know that there are situations that some receivers function better when they have a better quarterback. And I'm not, but the thing is, some receivers can elevate a quarterback play. Some quarterbacks can elevate a receiver play. Can Would you agree with that state? Would yeah, you I agree do, with I, that? I do. I do agree with that statement. Okay. I like where you're going with that. I love where you're going with that. Small case in scenario. Yes. D Hop. Yes. He was with Houston. He yes. had a merry-go-round. A merry-go-round. Osweiler. Of uh, case of Keenum. Yes. Yes. Do you see Ryan what he was Moyer, able? Do you, yes. see, do, you, do you see what he was able to do? Yes. Now, given the circumstances on what the Jets have to work with. I don't think there's any quarterback in the NFL playing right now that you can put and switch any any quarterback on any team and put them on the New York Jets and the offense would be any better than what we've seen to date. You don't think so? No, what do you think? Tell me what you think. Be on be on be honest with if, me. Be if, honest if with we, the people that are watching. If we put any other receiver I, uh I, in that I, offense. I, I, I said, I said, any other quarterback, leave the any receiver that, leave, okay. the, leave the receivers as be. Any other quarterback in this NFL and put him in that offense, would, would, would anything be any different? Be honest, be honest with yourself. Now, based on what you've seen the past 10 weeks. Oh, boy, you got me. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I, like, I like this goddamn topic. Come on. I, I do think, because here's the thing, Ocho, the mind is is, is unbelievable tool. Be, let me because I don't believe that when the offense takes the field that yes, they believe the guy that's under center gives them a great chance of winning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. the offense, but listen, that has nothing to do with nothing. You have a job to do. You have a job to do. You are playing in the. You have a. 
when you go out on that field as an offense, it's yeah. an individual battle between you and the motherfucker in front of you. You can't be worried about what the goddamn quarterback got to do because you got to have doing, a belief. Listen to me, if you a belief, you the, you got to believe you could win every battle because if you were doing your job, then your quarterback. You just to, told me you was, couldn't me, win with those finish. quarterbacks. Let me you finish. just spent ten minutes. Let me let me. You couldn't win see, with those quarterbacks. See, how, how you gonna cut me off and I ain't finished? You talk about the offense go out there with no belief. What belief? You got a job to do. Oh, Joe. you got you got a job to do as an offensive line. You got a job to do when you line up. There's a there's a there's a face in front of you. Your job is to block the face in front of you. And when you do your job individually, it makes the quarterback job easy to be able to get the ball to the goddamn receivers. No matter, ain't got nothing to do with no goddamn belief. So you believe? So you believe in New England that the guys had the same belief? And everybody else that played quarterback when Tom Brady was out for whatever reason, as they had in Tom Brady, yes or no? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We we talk about we talk about a great no, offensive no, line. It should they matter. They had a great offensive the line. The quarterback. Matters. They I had just, a great offensive line. Oh, why Joe. do you think that? Why do you think they were able to go from Tom Brady to Macassell and still make the playoffs? They had a oh, great Joe. line. They didn't make the playoffs that year. They did not make the playoffs that year. They went when 10 they went ten and six. six the when they went ten and six? Yes. Yeah, they went ten and six. So I'm asking you a simple question, Ocho. So you believe that Kansas City, if if when Patrick Mahomes comes out and they put another quarterback in, you believe they have the same belief in that quarterback as Patrick Mahomes. You believe it's Justin Herbert where to come. So you believe, hold on, hold on, hold on. About, I'm going to give you one better. I, I'm, I'm going to give you something that you can that's tangible for you. So you believe that Jamar Chase and those receivers have the same belief in Nagel, and uh, excuse me, and Jake Browning as they have in – in jo in uh, uh, Joe Burrow, you're confusing me. What does the belief have to do with anything? You Nothing. have a job to do when you walk Nothing. on the field. It doesn't as mean, a receiver. mean anything. As it a receiver, mean anything. get the fuck open. If you don't have Joe Burrow, if I'm Jamar Chase, I don't care who at the helm. The exit knows when it's that when the play good. is called. That I'm sounds good be in open. theory. That sounds good in theory. Well, that I'm, sounds I'm good. I'm telling you how I operate. Theory. I don't care who at the helm. I got a job to do, and I'm going to go out there and do my job. They don't pay. They they don't pay my belief to worry about with the who's that quarterback. They pay me to get the fuck over and catch ball to score a touchdown. That's what they that's pay it. you to do. They do that. They do that just because well, you're trying all this to get belief. Uh, you got that's uh, too okay. much going on. You got too much to worry about already. Why are you worried about who the fuck playing quarterback? That's too much. Hey, that's that's your. That's for the that's, GM. That's for the that's head what, coach. That's that's, for, that's, that's your. For, that's I for dis, everybody I else disagree. to worry about. I dis I disagree. I disagree. That's it. We're going to move along. Jerry Jones ranks, ranks this, Thanksgiving, this Thanksgiving win over the Commanders as one of the top Cowboy moments. He said, I don't know if I've had a better day like this, and I'll include all of them. I'll put Super Bowls in there. I mm. don't know if I've ever had a better day with the Cowboys than today. Mm. Jerry, what are you talking about? <laughs> Jerry Jones, about five years ago, said, yes, sir. you don't know the size of check that I'll be willing to write Mm -hmm. to win one more Super Bowl. Super Bowl now, he yeah. didn't say that about a regular season game, Ocho. He didn't mm -hmm. say, you don't believe the size of a check that I would write to right. win a game against the Commanders on Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. or I win a regular season game. He says, you don't believe the size of the check that I'd be willing to write to right. win one more Super Bowl because mm -hmm. he, he started, he's starting to come to grips with this mortality. He realizes that he has less time than more time on this right. earth. Mm -hmm. And for him to say that, Mm -hmm. Why would he say that, Ocho, when you know yeah. that's not true? Nobody that's won a Super Bowl would mm -hmm. take a regular season win over right. a Super Bowl and say you feel just as joyous. I see more, 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 more about Jerry. And if obviously being the face and always wanted to be in front of the camera, I think he was more so in the moment, more so in the moment and really not thinking about what happened in the past, more so just speaking, just to be speaking. That's what I call that's That's what I call living in the moment for the time being that you are in right now. If Jerry Jones wants to win the Super Bowl, he can put together a team to do so right now. Defensively, he's done a great job. There's re there's no reason. Offensively, they are awesome. All yes. they needed for Dak to be Dak the way he is in the regular season, be the exact same way, be very efficient, don't turn the ball over, and get C.D. Lamb involved. Get Gallup involved. Goddamn get Cooks involved in the goddamn postseason, and they will be just fine. The only issue is, just like the Dolphins, we haven't got – I think we, we talked about the Dolphins already, right? Yeah. We can go okay. back and talk to them. Just, them just, oh, yeah, we, after we just, finish, just, we'll go back just, and talk to the uh, just Dolphins. Just two things. Two things. One thing about the Cowboys and the Dolphins, they are in somewhat very alike. Very like offensively, the Dolphins to me much higher ceiling and, and much better. Dak and that offense very good as well. Obviously, them having a the defense, I've given them the edge defensively over yes. the Dolphins. One thing that they haven't done this entirety the entirety of this season 
if they haven't beat a winning team or a team above 500. Neither of them. So yeah. at some point, that's when the reality sets in. Once you get to the postseason, and that's yes. it. That's all they got to do. But I, I'm trying to understand after Jerry. Jerry last won the Super Bowl in '95. So it's right, been right. almost three decades, and you're saying a Dang. team that's a team like the Commanders, you've mm-hmm. never felt. I mean, look, I've won some big games, but mm-hmm. when you win the Super Bowl, Ocho, and you yeah. know that's the ultimate prize. Right, Nothing. right, right. Even, even the second and third Super Bowls, mm-hmm. which I won, right. didn't bring me the joy and the gratitude and the gratification mm-hmm. that the first one. And right. you mean to tell me a regular season game? Mm-hmm. You've been as excited equally to or more so than right. than a Super Bowl? Right. That's the think- crescendo. Right. Did you think? Do you think maybe you say that to continue to to get the headlines once again? To say something, to say something ridiculous to that, like that, because what's the first thing everybody gonna be talking about? Jerry just, Lug, to keep, Jerry just to keep, just to keep, just to keep in the headlines. Himself. Yeah, yeah, that, that, but, that's that's exactly what that was. But, but when you when you have the Cowboys, mm-hmm. you are gonna get the headlines. Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Your fan base, they're loyal, they're devout. Mm-hmm. Uh, you generate the ratings. Mm-hmm. You are a cash cow. Yeah, yeah. It, it goes without saying. You see, think about it. Lionel Messi doesn't say anything, does he? He don't, he, 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 he he Lionel talk. Messi. He, he doesn't need to talk. talk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some people they don't need to talk. It goes without saying. Right. When you're when you're that entity, mm-hmm. you, you don't hear the Google CEO talking. You don't now 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 Elon Musk is a different animal with yeah, Tesla. Yeah, yeah, he, but yeah. You don't different. hear people from Google or Salesforce or you know or Microsoft. You don't hear mm-hmm. them talking. Right. The business speaks for itself. Right. Yeah, I, and I just don't get what Jerry. What I don't believe. I tell you what. This, this is what I do know. As mm-hmm. much as the Cowboy fans love their Cowboys, I don't think mm-hmm. any Cowboy that was alive during this time and understands what those Super Bowls meant in the nineties. I don't right. think not one fan believe Jerry. I don't think probably one not, fan believe. Probably not. I think at this point, <laughs> at I think at this point, as much as as much as Jerry talks, as many things as he says, whether you agree or disagree with him, those that are part of that Cowboy fan base take it with a grain of salt. I think they yeah. take everything he says with a grain of salt because they are worried and focused on production in the postseason. And nothing That's else it. matters. Nothing else matters. Yes. Because when you had as much success as Dak has had in the regular season, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what's the next step? Mm-hmm. I mean, because you say, okay, it's incremental steps. And right. you have to, there's a, there's a process. You mm-hmm. win, you lose. Okay, now we consistently win. Mm-hmm. And each year, you like to think that we can progress a little further. Right. And they haven't been able to get past that divisional round and even get back to an NFC championship. Mm-hmm. So now that's the measuring stick for that. Right. Right. If you want to be thought of in, in, in that that little small group, uh, let's see, Joe Burrow has gone to mm-hmm. two AFC championship games, got right. to a Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes, we're not even talking about him because mm-hmm. there hasn't been a year in which he's been a starter that he didn't make the AFC championship. Right. In three of those five years, he found himself in the Super Bowl and he's won two Super Bowls. Yes, so sir. we understand. But if you want to be thought of as those quarterbacks or, or those legendary, mm-hmm. right, got to go further, Ocho. Yeah, you, because definitely. right now, what's the difference between him and Tony Romo? Tony Romo won division. Tony Romo won one of them, but he hasn't. But he wasn't able to uh, uh, advance past the divisional round. Right, and that's what the Cowboys. When you look at Stallback and you look at the guys that has those Lombardis lined up in Jerry's office, mm-hmm. the reason why they became legendary, the mm-hmm. reason why they became folklore, right. is because they were able to cap- capture the ultimate, and that's what it comes down to in yeah. this sport, in sport, in pro sports. There's very there on this menu, Ocho. There's mm-hmm. only two things you can order, wins and right. losses. Yeah. They don't even come with water. They don't give right. you no napkin. You get <laughs> wins and losses. That's all right. you get. Right. And so I, I just think that I've been receiving some criticism for mm-hmm. something that I said last night. I said he uh-huh. led the league in, in, in interceptions consistently. But y'all know I meant turnovers. So let me qu- clarify what I said. Right. Dak has finished in seven years three mm-hmm. times in the top ten in total turnovers. Mm-hmm. Four times if you count the year because he was top five the year that he broke his ankle and missed the mm-hmm. rest of the season. Right. So out and he finished first last year, tied for first last year, and he missed five games. Mm-hmm. So I think if somebody finishes top four, top ten, mm-hmm. four of the seven years he's been in the league, don't you think that would qualify as some, someone that's turnover prone, Ocho? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, somewhat ba- based on numbers. Every everything is about numbers. Every, everything if, is if, about Ocho, numbers. let me ask you this. Yes, sir. In 10 years, if you finish top, if you finish top 10 in drops for those in four of those eight seasons, what mm-hmm. would people consider Ocho? Drops. If you finish top, if you finish top 10 in fumbles in mm-hmm. four of the in four of the eight years you've been in the league, 
they're going to say you got a fumbling problem. Right, right, right. I'm just – two – Ocho, two things can be true. Mm -hmm. Dak can be playing really well, and he's had a history of turning the ball over. Right. Why can't – Why? Why they don't have to be mutually exclusive. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes people lose sight of that, that two things can be true. He can right. be a good player, and Adrian Peterson – was a historically great running back. Yeah. But what did he have a problem doing, Ocho? Fumbling, fumbling the football. The yeah, yeah, yeah. So are we denying that? No, mm -hmm. it happened. Yeah, and it doesn't take away the, it doesn't take away the fact <laughs> that they are great at what they do. Right. And so the thing, the, the problem is, is mm -hmm. that when Dak has gotten into the playoffs, that mm -hmm. bug has reared right. its head. You know what? One thing about it, and I know them boys going to see this, to take some of the pressure off of Dak, to me, yeah. I think which would help with some of the interceptions and some of the things like that, I need my receiving core to raise their level of play, to raise their level of play. I need CD Lamb to always be open. CD you know, playing it's, out his mind, Ocho. I know, I know he's playing out his mind. I need Gallup. I need Brandon Cooks. I'm talking about every time something is called, every time a play a, a play is called, you just got to be there for your quarterback. I'm talking about like insurance. You know, yes. if something happened to you and you got insurance, you know that insurance is gonna cover you no matter what. I want, in, yeah. yeah, I want Dak to be able to be blindfolded and be able to count and be able to throw a ball without even looking and knowing his his receiver is gonna be there for him every single time, every time. And I think some mm -hmm. when you get when you get that type of trust in your quarterback and receiver, knowing he's gonna be there for me, they're gonna be fine, especially come playoff time. Yeah, well, CD is, CD has played this year like a top five receiver. Crazy. You and I, you and I Crazy. debated with, with top ten. I like okay, borderline top ten, but he's played like a top five receiver. Mm -hmm. I think it goes without question saying that Tyreek has been the best receiver, and then mm -hmm. AJ Brown, Justin mm -hmm. Jefferson was balling out of his mind before Man. he tweaked that hamstring. Right. Hamstring. Uh, Chase is Chase. Keenan mm -hmm. Allen has been phenomenal. Crazy. But but but, but uh, CD. CD has been legit. CD mm -hmm. has been, I mean, three straight, I think he had three straight games with what double digit catches and 150 yeah. plus 100 yards, yards. Something yeah. that had never been done in NFL history. Mm -hmm. He did that. He's showing it's going to cost you a lot of money to re-sign him because mm -hmm. he's in the fourth year. He got that contract coming up. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You got that boy dog on the other side, number yeah. 11, yeah. double hockey sticks. He yeah. coming up. He going to yeah. want, want his paper. Oh, yeah. So they're going to, hey, and guess what? Dak's in going coming up. That what you gonna do with that? Yeah, you know yeah. Dak win the Super Bowl. That's automatically fifty million. It's, it's a wrap. Oh, oh, he it is a wrap. He gets, he gets to the NFC Championship game. Yeah, now he's thrown his name into the MVP in the, discussion. MVP, yeah, with the way he's played the last two weeks mm -hmm. with the touchdown, the interception, the touchdown high, interception mm -hmm. rate low. Mm -hmm. He's thrown, he's thrust his name into the equation. Right, but that's a great problem to have, Ocho. Yeah, I'd rather is. have that problem mm -hmm. in dealing with play, paying guys mm -hmm. after I've won a championship. As mm -hmm. opposed to like, who do I pay? And yeah. we haven't reached the ultimate pinnacle yet. Right. So that continue to play well. I was just pointing out those are some of the things. And you just can't look at the positive. Yeah, you mm -hmm. look at guys. Okay, Dak's playing well. I think you and I discussed that last night. Yeah. He was clean. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, I'm talking about for Sunday clean. Yeah, listen, I'm talking about is, church it. anniversary clean. Yeah, he I'm was, talking he about was, health inspection clean. He was, he, was, he was clean as the board of health. He was that's yeah, how clean yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, <laughs> Hold on. Uh, there's someone in the chat said, Ocho, you just ran about Lazard. Now you're saying that the Cowboys need to play, need uh need to up their play. No, no, no. Huh? I, I don't think they I don't think he understand what I was talking about, huh? When you get into the postseason, mm -hmm. the receivers. Yeah. What's, what's the first thing that's gonna happen when you get into the postseason? We doubling, we dub we doubling C D. So right. I need Gallup and I need Brandon Cooks. To do exactly what he do, exactly like his last name say. So, I need you to cook I, every time. I, I need think you to cook what every time, and they've been playing. I, they've been playing really well. I think what they're saying is that when Aaron Rodgers goes out, Alan Lazard mm -hmm. should have said, "Hey, I'm going to up my play." I think mm -hmm. that's the argument that they're making. You well, saying wait, that? Wait a minute. Saying, Listen, <laughs> look, wait, you can't. You can't. They don't have the. They don't have the same structure now. We talk about the Cowboys. Don't do that. Now we talk about we can't compare the Jets offense and the Cowboys offense. Now, come on now, stay with me. You we said it didn't matter with offense. About, you said it doesn't matter. You said so, they got a job to do. Are they doing the job? Are they doing the job in New York? Are they doing the job in New York? <laughs> I just been Are they doing the job? I've been telling you that from day one, and you so argue me down. I'm arguing that you down because Zach can't do his goddamn job because the job in front of him ain't doing theirs. And the well, person has he ever done his and, job? And how, and how the person in the chat don't understand what I'm saying? They, they how you don't understand what I'm saying? Hey, 
someone else in the chat said, Ocho, low key, you canceled your own argument, bro. Nah, they don't they don't know. See, I hate talking with football with people that don't know goddamn football. <laughs> I would talk about the the interception. I'm thinking about the interception that I've seen last year in the postseason. It was going to the receivers that were motherfucking covered. Yeah. Everybody want to know like what my t-shirt be saying. That's a horrible idea. What time? <laughs> uh the athletic, hold on. You want to go back to tour. Ocho, I got some concerns. Yeah. Because the turnovers are starting to rise. You, you see, that's two games. The last yeah. two games, five turnovers. Mm -hmm. That's concerning because hey. you know come playoff time, right. Ocho, you turn the ball over three yeah, times, two times, you're going home. Yeah, you're going home. But listen, we just talked about that. Did we not just talk the other night? That was last night, matter of fact. That goddamn mm -hmm. out route. Uh -huh. That goddamn out route. You late with it, it's gone. If it's gone. Late, if you try to hitch, when you hit that third step, the ball got to be gone. The ball, the ball got to be going. If you're going to miss, you either miss wide or you miss out of bounds. Yeah. <laughs> One or the other. We yeah. just talked about that. Oh, okay. very, di and, very difficult throw. And plus, Tua doesn't have the strongest arm to begin with. You don't you, think so? He, no, Ocho. What you mean, do I think so? Listen, I ain't seen Tua up close now. I ain't seen him up close to be able Ocho, to judge Ocho, you just saw that strength. throw. No, no, he, he ain't got no arm. He, okay, has okay. To, he has to throw with incredible anticipation, kind of right. like Brock Purdy. But I think Brock Purdy okay. uh, uh, anticipatory skills are mm -hmm. as good as that we've seen. Right. He just doesn't have like Mahomes can anticipate, but mm -hmm. Holmes Mahomes can throw the ball through a, out of a hurricane. Right. There's a difference. <laughs> Marino had that kind of anticipation, right. but he had arm strength. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we see guys with great anticipation. Uh, anticipation, mm -hmm. they don't have the Josh Allen or the Brett right. Favre or the Patrick Mahomes, the John right. Elway type right. arm strength. Tua. He can if he's ever late, it's going the other way. Going the way, yeah. It's, it's really that simple. Yeah, okay. Because okay, the guy, because on that out route, because here's the thing: when you run that speed out, Ocho, you know exactly mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. When you when you hit ten and roll to twelve, mm -hmm. that ball got to be gone. DB, Been gone. It, it, yes. Because yeah. if you miss, the DB's on your hip. Mm -hmm. That's why yeah. you speed out of the thing because yeah. you're rolling away from him. If mm -hmm. you miss, you're gonna hit him in the chest. Right. You hit a guy on the chest on the out route, it's going mm -hmm. to the house. Yeah. Unless unless it's like 80 yards and you miss with Tyreek. Tyreek right. will chase him down. DK <laughs> but other than that, that's to the house. Yeah. 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 He's got a, a full head of steam one way and 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 you <laughs> you rolling the other way, it's right. over. Yeah. It's kind of it's the same uh on that on that Hail Mary that the Jets. I looked at Ash when they got intercepted. I said, he's gonna run this back. And mm -hmm. she looked at me like. I said, because you got to understand, all the receivers are Davis in the end zone. Down the end zone, yeah. You ain't got nothing but lineman and a, and a non-athletic quarterback that's quarterback. about to try to make the tackle. Mm -hmm. You had a running back in there. He got a block. Boom, it's over. Got block. It's a wrap, yeah. It's just like Alabama, the kick six. is kind of like a, 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 a deep interception. Well, you got the receivers right there. So mm -hmm. the guy gets the ball running back this way, it's mm -hmm. over. Like I said, unless you got a Tyreek or a DK, somebody right. that can chase him down. Down. But – in that situation, yeah, you asking them, you asking them an awful lot. I, th that's concerning for me. Yes, yeah. they're dangerous. They still had two guys over 100 yards today. One guy had 10 catches. I think the other guy had nine catches. Tyreek uh, and Waddle both went over 100 yards. Yeah. Um. Basically, all the yards came between those two guys. I think both between them, they had like 220 or the 243 that uh um that uh Tua had. But yeah. the interceptions, but the, the turnovers are starting to concern me. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at this athletic release their annual player survey. Players were asked about their favorite stadium to play in. Ooh, that's what a do good you think one. the what do you think the number one stadium to play in was? The number one? Yes. Mm. This was easy for me. I got it. Because it was my well, favorite your, stadium. You're number play. one or everybody else. No, it was there. It was at the, the players, current players anonymously were, were asked see. their favorite stadium. I'm trying to think. I'm trying wait, maybe. I'm thinking of, I'm gonna just go with the two loudest stadiums. I, that wouldn't be a favorite though. I, Arrowhead or or the Twelve Man out there in Seattle. Arrowhead was number one. It was ah, uh, that's yep. a good one. That's good U.S. One. Bank Stadium, which is Minnesota Stadium, right. number two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's loud, but to go there and to see it's a sea of red. Yeah, and they bring that BT B two uh B two bomber over, mm -hmm. and it's just like hovering, and it's mm -hmm. right there, but you don't hear it. Until it gets past you, and right. then it is rumbling. The stadium is actually right, right. rumbling, and right. all you see is red. And when the and the uh, uh, national anthem and the home, home 
of the uh, Chiefs. Yeah, I, I, I mean, remember that. Can, I remember you, that. It's a, it's a, it's a, you can feel the wind of mm. all those people saying Chiefs. Right. Feel it. But, and it so, just gives you goosebumps. And mm. you know you got to be on your best behavior. Now, that's, when that's we played favorite? them, oh, yeah. They're mile high. Yeah, but you have okay. to understand it was different because when I played them in the 90s, they were all a defensive team. Right. They were loaded. They had DT. They had mm-hmm. Dale Carter. They had Dale mm-hmm. Carter, DT, Neil Smith, James Hasty. They were, had Deron Cherry, Martin Bayless, they, uh, uh, Dan Salamua, Joe Phillips. They were loaded, loaded on the defensive yeah. side. And, right. you know, they had Barry Ward, Christian Accorier. So mm-hmm. Marty Schottenheimer was the coach. They run the ball. You know, Marty wasn't going to do anything crazy. Right. And then turn it over to his defense. And, right. hey, and you see, they get you backed up. DT mm-hmm. running the end zone and do this. That's what y'all want to yeah. see, and the Safety. fans go crazy. Oh yeah, he said, "That's what y'all want to see." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> they get That's you backed bad. up, Ocho. They get you backed up. It they got that- so loud mm-hmm. they had to change the rules because Dan told us we went there one time, and Dan says, "John, if you can't hear, just turn to the official and tell him you can't hear." Mm. Well, yeah, so why, why not go on silent count? But that was before the silent. There was no silent okay. count. Okay, we okay, ended okay, up okay. turn. We it, teams ended up going to the silent count. Mm-hmm. But they, the official, would make the crowd, the home crowd, right. quiet down so you right. could hear the snap. And they said if you didn't uh, quiet down, they were gonna start taking timeouts. Oh, okay, okay. The okay, NFL okay. said, "No, we can't have that. That's yeah. the whole purpose of having home field advantage, advantage is right. to have your crowd get into it." Mm-hmm. So they changed the rule, and then everybody started going on the silent count. Okay. Uh. Arrowhead was number one, U.S. Bank Stadium. The Vikings was number two. The least favorite stadium to play in. Mm-hmm. What do you think the, the players favorite. voted? I'm trying to think. I, I I would I would go, well, obviously the Raiders aren't at the black hole, so they they it's nice over there. So the black hole wouldn't be I'm trying to Mm-mm. think least favorite. I what got both of these. Base, which fan base <laughs> is really crazy? Maybe the Eagles, the Eagles. Eagles. What about the Eagles? Yeah. Eagles are e- um, yep. The Eagles. No, are, no, not the uh, Eagles. Ne- Eagles, no. The old Eagles. When I played, the Eagles used to play at the vet, right. which was turf. Right. And it was concrete right. with basically a carpet laid on top of it. Ouch! It was terrible. Yes, uh, the players voted. MetLife is where the Jets and the Giants play. Oh, that and, is a bad stadium. And FedEx and FedEx Field. Because remember, they just had no cold. They just had no hot water just last mm-hmm. just <laughs> last week. <laughs> so right. and the toilets and the toilets been backing up from what I've heard. That's but crazy. when I played, I would say vet, the Eagles play, the old Astrodome, they did uh-huh. they did away with that before you got into the league. Yeah. Uh Cleveland Municipal Stadium mm. was a dump. Yeah. Yeah, it was a dump, Ocho. It was bad. It was really, really bad. Yeah. The most annoying fan base. Well, it gotta be. The oh, Eagles. I know you're gonna get they, this. They, they, they crazy. Who you got the Eagles. Man, the Eagles, Eagles, the Eagles, the Eagles threw snowballs at Santa. You know, you know they ain't wrapped too tight. They say Santa ain't bring them ish, so they, he deserved it. Yeah. Okay. The Eagles were number one. Who's number two? Number two fan base that's really crazy. Ocho, come on now. It, it, it's it's a good one because I mean, the Bills. Nope. No. Most annoying. Oh, annoying. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, the Cowboys. Thank you. Okay. 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 okay, okay. Thank okay. you. But you know, but see. I came along. We didn't really know how annoying a fan base was because there's right. no social media. So mm-hmm. there was nobody on line. Oh, y'all, you suck. Cowboy Nation and, and, right. and Eagles fly, whatever the Eagles fly, because I think Ravens flock, Eagles fly. Mm-hmm. There was none of that going on. So right. we didn't get it until you until you got there. But every fan base was rabid. Uh, check this out. Coach, other than your own, mm-hmm. that you would wanted to play for. That I what players? Play for? What, yep. Oh, that's a good. That's an easy one. In that Andy Reid offense. Nope. Yeah. And what? He what? He wasn't one. How he wasn't one. So depending on who you ask, if three. you have you have, you have an offensive player, mm-hmm. he was three. So who would be one if you had a coach that would you like to play with? I mean, he, it, it, it's 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 it, it, that was easy for me. I got I got I got number one. I would uh, I would I went with Andy Reid too, but I got this one number one. And no hands, Mike Tomlin. Mike Tom, that's a matter that's of fact, Mike. One. That's a good one. I like <laughs> number Mike, two. Mike is a good one. M- number two was Mike McDaniel. That's that's another good one. You you notice everybody you just name are player coaches. 
I, I thought they would have named Kyle Shanahan. Can you imagine in that offense? That offense, that's a good one. <laughs> that's that's a good one. Those and they all all everybody that those top three are all player coaches and relate very well to the players. Danny donated seventy dollars. He asked Uncle Nocho, "What are the best parts of playing in the NFL? What are the worst parts?" I'll let you go first. I mean, the what's best the best part? part? Let me see the best part and competing. And matter of fact, the best part to me is the game, being able to compete, getting up, practicing, you know, showing up to meetings, going through the game plan, going out, executing the game plan, and then going out Sunday and trying to execute it the exact same way, you know, you did, obviously, you know, that that you worked on in practice. For me, the entertainment value that for one that I was able to bring to the game, though, was bar none and one of the, the best things for me. Um, the bad thing will be the bad thing. I think I don't the, know the about you thing, with injury. Take, the injuries. Take, take, I got two. I got two repaired hips. I yeah, got. I, a, I got yeah, a repaired I no eye. I had a dislocated hip. Damn. I'm, I got a. I got a broken. I got a fractured collarbone that still had to heal. God damn! You got. You got fucked up. Listen, yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have no injuries. But the, the only. The only bad thing for me. The only bad thing for me was the fact that the entertainment value that I brought to the game. They saw me as a villain, and they kept taking my money over it. I think that was the only. Yeah. Now every. Now everything is accepted. Yeah, I think for me the camaraderie. See, yeah, I, I enjoyed I the game, that, man. But I like, I love the practice. Mm-hmm. I love the practices. I love the meeting. I love the locker room. I love the bus rides. I love the yeah. plane. Yeah, I love all of that. The 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 the, the bonding mm-hmm. and the journey to mm-hmm. get to that destination, which is yeah. the Super Bowl, and to win that. Mm-hmm. That's that's the look look and the money the look the money because it gave me an opportunity to take care of my family in a way right. that I probably never could have mm-hmm. maybe maybe I could have but I didn't really love anything as much as I love football right. now had I not been had I not been able to fulfill my dreams mm-hmm. I was going to law school I was going to be right. a, I, and I think I could have been you know I think people like my debating skills I think okay. I'd have been a pretty a damn good lawyer well let, let but, me okay Johnny Cocker <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know Johnny Cochran, Willie yeah. Gary. You know Jerry yeah. Spence. I'd have been one of them. You know one okay. of them. One of them. The big time guys. And so I, I think that's that's the best part, Ocho, is mm-hmm. the opportunity to provide for your mm-hmm. family at yeah. a level that you probably didn't even dream of. Because right. even though I was going like playing in the NFL, man, when I, I mean, if you got a million dollars in the NFL when I first got there, man, you were making big time money. Right, right, right. It wasn't right, no, right. it wasn't no, it wasn't no seven, eight, ten million dollar deals going on. As a matter mm-hmm. of fact, when I first got to the NFL, there wasn't even no free agency. Mm. There wasn't no free agency. So right. they offered you, you had to take whatever they offered. That's right. why a lot of these guys stay with one team forever, Ocho. Mm-hmm. Where you going? Right, 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 right. <laughs> Where you going? Yeah. And, and so a lot of and that's what you what you saw is that these great teams. All of them got, oh, you look at the Steelers, Joe Green, Mel Blunt, Lambert, mm-hmm. Ham, Bradshaw, they traded Franco, Stallworth, Swan, Webster. Mm-hmm. All those yeah. guys get old at once. Then what right. do you got? All those guys are Hall of Famers, yeah. but they're retiring within a year or two of each other. Then what? Yeah. And if, when I think about it, I, I, I never really thought about, you know, the the money and the financial aspect of it because I was, I was so busy enjoying the game the same way I did when I was a little shorty. The yeah. same way I play football, I tell you no lie, Unc. The same way I play football at Liberty City Optimus, at Miami Beach Senior High, or Miami Lakes Optimus when I played them. I'm talking about back in 1988. It's the same way I played the game once I got to the NFL. And the fact that they tried to get me to conform and change the way I played the game, it wasn't it wasn't happening. And the funny thing about it, when when we think about the NFL and when you don't abide by the rules, I I, yeah. I didn't I didn't break the rules. I just bent them just a little bit because I felt the game should be played in an entertaining. <laughs> listen, I felt the game should be played in an entertaining fashion. So the first thing they think, well, we gonna take what you think we we gonna take what we think you value most. Yeah. That's where the fines come in at. Mm-hmm. But Lord be Lord behold, man, I'm not here for the money because I'm gonna make that regardless. I'm gonna play the game the way I play is a little shorty and have fun doing it because when my time is up, I don't want no regrets. About damn, I should have did this while I was playing. Uh, Rod eight seventy asks, "Unk, who is the better route runner, Ocho or AB?" Uh oh, uh oh, that's a good oh, one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's now you over the bumper. You know what? You, you know, 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 know the funny thing about it. The fun, about it is, is people, people, people won't even know. Me and AB trained together for the past what? They ain't 30, ask you that. 13, 14 years. They ain't ask you that. They ask you a simple question: Who's the better route runner? They ain't ask you who you train with. Now get the people an answer. It depends. It depends. I'm the greatest route runner of all time. It depends on what. Who I'm is the, the great, better? I'm the greatest route runner of all time. Of all time. That. 
Say that. I'm the great. Let, let me stop. Let me let me talk. Let me say something. I'm the greatest route runner of all time. There's one receiver. Listen to me, Unc. Stay with me, baby. There's one receiver, and you can you can and NFL Hill NFL Films has all the footage that can come to the line of scrimmage, and before the snap of the ball, tell the DB my route and still get open. There's only one person that's ever done that. Let me let me finish. There's one receiver that before the season started, he has a he had a list of every DB. Every DB in his locker, it was checking them off week to week. There's only one. You I don't care what Rebus. nobody else did. I t- no, I'm talking about I'm talking about early in my career. Oh, okay. not, 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 Ocho, I can't yeah. ask you no I'm, I'm talking about early in my you career. Say stay not with you. Was... Stay with me, Ocho. Stay with me. Right. Man. Stay with yeah, me. Listen, I'm trying to keep up with you. Now. The funny thing about it, that's 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 one man. And not only that, and it ain't really bad to lose to that one man because that one man is one of the greatest to ever play the game. So he it, got it, you, it, Ocho. Yeah. Ocho, but just what that would say. What that would have said about you if you'd have did a number on him, huh? Huh, me? You heard exactly what yeah, I said. I, I, you know, I would have said, I, I would have said, I got lucky, cause that motherfucker was good, boy. That nigga Revis had the motherfucking patience of Sally Mae, because you know, ain't nobody paying that money no time soon. But at that line of scrimmage, boy, he that know, nigga, he oh, ain't biting that first move. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. And no, he no, lost. No, no. He got. If no. you look at him the way he's built, and then he's strong. He got, he stru- he, man, he dog, got long arms, yes, Ocho. Yeah, and that uh-huh. first move, he ain't biting. Mm, nah, and he just gonna turn and run. run. And, if he, and hold he, on, he do this or Listen, this, and he 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 got that. He put that little arm bar right by your hip, so you really can't go nowhere. <laughs> and then his ball playing skills was fucking elite. Yeah, elite ball yeah. playing skills. Elite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was he was he was good. He yeah. was good. Hey, I mean, you hey, watch him. His feet. Mm-hmm. I mean, hey, mm-hmm. he ain't opening up too soon. Uh-uh. He ain't, hey, all that. He said, like, mm-hmm. I see all that head moving, yeah. but that waist ain't moving. That, that, nah. that torso there's ain't with there's, 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 there's only one person, one person who had consistent success against Revis, and that was Stevie Johnson. Stevie Johnson was a phenomenal, phenomenal receiver, especially in the phone booth when it comes to, to creating separation and making you think, making you do something you didn't think he was doing. Yeah, Stevie you got to get open up. Un- but it, unbelievable. But, but it was rare. That very. he opened up too soon. Very, very because very, he never he never bit the first move. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And sometimes oh. he wouldn't even, he wouldn't even go for the goddamn second one. <laughs> yeah, he that's why I say, listen, Revis had the patience of Sally May because you know people ain't paying them loans back no time yeah. soon, and Revis is gonna sit there wait for you. He gonna wait for you. But Sally May just wait for you to get a better paying job, and then she gonna come knocking on your door. Hey, I need to get that. <laughs> Sally oh, yeah. May, Sally May said, I ain't bother you that little first job because mm-hmm. I know that's a little that's the little starter mm-hmm. job. It's oh, just yeah. like your first house, Ocho. You know, everybody, they got them a star of the house. Sally yeah. Mae said, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till that second or third job. When you, mm-hmm. get, that, when you get that big payday, and then yeah. I'm going hey, to send them, I'm going to send them, oh, those uh, notices out. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, that was a good uh, one. Pelser, oh, 17, good, asked, how many memories. rings would you have won now in, in how many how many rings would you have now in a league like this? Oh, let me go back. Rod, he also asked, who was the better route runner, me or Witt? Really, dude? Wait, no, you you was a different type of tight end than with. Right, come on, now. Dude, Let's understand the game, now. I was a legit. I got drafted as a wide receiver, mm-hmm. and they moved me to tight end. Right. But I could still re- maneuver like I ran bang eight. I ran mm-hmm. I ran comebacks. I mm-hmm. ran digs. They put me outside. I ran sluggos. I ran speed out. How many tight ends you think, even in today's game, they hitting 10, roll to 12? How mm-hmm. many of them running a comeback? How many of them running a dig? How many of them running a dagger? Mm-hmm. How many of them running a shake route? I could li- literally literally run the route tree, Ocho. Yeah, I know. That's I, know, not I even, know you can. That's not even I, a fair comparison to yeah. ask a guy that was 228, could a guy 250 mm-hmm. run better routes than me? Mm. Talk your talk, talk your talk now. Talk your talk. I'm with you when you're right. One thing about it, I'm with you when you're right. I ain't gonna argue the fact, man. I didn't see you now. Nah, I got, hey, I got the Witten, film. Witten had an unbelievable career, but ain't no tight end. Mm-mm. 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 Not no, not no routes. Mm-mm. Cause I, you got to realize, I spent a lot of time outside the numbers. Yeah. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Who? Oh, what tight end you know running bang eights? Right now, that ain't happening. <laughs> Right I now, that ain't think. happening. I got a question. I, I yes. got well, no, he's just a big body with great hands. I was I was thinking about Jimmy Smith. What do you think about Jimmy Smith? I mean Jimmy Smith. Um, Jimmy Graham. 
Jimmy Graham. Jim Jimmy was a big body. He he wasn't yeah, no see, that, that's, yeah, that's why I said, that's the first. That's why I said that. That's the first thing. And I see, said. I look at guys like Jimmy. He was kind of like Mark Chamira, Ben Coles, Bavaro. Mm -hmm. They play mm -hmm. bumper cars. They yeah. look into banging to somebody and bump right. off them. Right. I ain't trying to let you touch me. I'm trying. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm shaking. Woo, <laughs> woo, I'm. I, Oh, hey, 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 hey. You, you ain't getting none of that. You ain't finna touch me. Right. Bro, I'm only 228. Right, Bro, I can't right, let right. you get your hands on me. Right. Now, if you a safety or DB, yeah, I'm gonna throw your little ass out the way. But <laughs> if you are you a linebacker, I ain't trying to let you get your hands on me. Right. I'm not gonna let you square me up. That's the and I always say, I'm always playing on Ocho. I'm playing half a man. Half a man. Because always. if I let you, you got to you, I can't let you do this. It's like you here. And I'm here, or you right. here, and I'm here. I'm there, but I'm yeah. not gonna let you square me up. You are not uh -huh. gonna hit me in my breastplate. Mm -hmm. No, I'm always playing on half a man, and oh, that's yeah. what I tell the guys now: play half a man. Yeah, not the whole A. Make A. Make sure you uh, make sure you understand. Mm -hmm. You want to you wanted to be half the man that man. he could be. Right. And you know what's funny? When I think about it, there are some receivers, big body receivers that enjoy where they really don't have the physical tools or the DNA to play half a man because they really yeah. can't get around nobody right. that will like that want the engagement. I've yeah. seen T.O. do it. I've seen Brandon yeah. Marshall do it. You ever yeah. seen that pull and tug? Yes. Yeah. You know how strong you got to be to have a pull and mm -hmm. tug and still remain within the timing of an offense? Yeah. I My brother would have been like that. <laughs> I tried to do. I tried to pull that pull and tug shit off one time. Unk, I tell you no lie. I was on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, Ocho. Man, you they, definitely got to play half listen, a man. They, they, Mr. DB rolled my ass all the way to the sideline. I said, you know what? I ain't. I ain't watching the big niggas no more, man. I ain't watching nah. the big receivers no more. <laughs> nah, you can't, Ocho. <laughs> Not you need to be in order in order to play through the bot through the contact. Right, you right, need right. To be at least two twenty. Man, listen, you I would, I, would, I, would, I, I might have been one eighty yeah. at best. Guys like guys like you said, Julio, yeah, T.O., oh, yeah. Brandon Marshall, Megatron. But it's crazy. Guys, <laughs> Megatron too. Be, yeah. dog, I don't Megatron understand. Megatron was two forty though. It's crazy. Um, I'm talking about they would let the DB get hands on them, like let them get hands on them and Man. grab on it Man, in cool. between the shoulder pads and just tug and pull whichever way they want to go. Yeah, and be open every time. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Because what you do when you do that. When you pull him, you launch mm -hmm. yourself forward. Right, That's right, just right. like a DB. If you notice, mm -hmm. sometimes DB grab you by the hip yep, and undercut yep. the route because right, they right, slow right. you down and launch themselves forward. Go forward, yeah. So, so you have to – because I did, I did that a lot. Yeah. Get beat on the block, grab mm -hmm. the guy by his waist, next thing mm -hmm. you know I'm in front of him. Like, man, how you do that? Don't worry about it. You'll see it on film. <laughs> oh, the tricks Richard of the Sherman, trade. Richard Sherman also said Stevie, Stevie Johnson was the hardest receiver to cover. Yeah. Yeah, Stevie. Stevie was Stevie was shifty. Any any, any l tall, long, lanky, lanky yeah. corners like Richard Sherman, or even 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 in today's game, I'm thinking about uh, Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, he would pose problems for anybody yeah. because oh, yeah. you not anybody getting that's no a hand. You not getting, Those guys man, are striders. You missing. You missing. Everybody, everybody in the chat. Y'all remember and one, right? You remember the and one basketball? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. exactly how Stevie Johnson got off the ball. Him and Keenan Allen. Oh my yeah. God, man, you know, saucy. Uh, Hey, I don't know what you were in the league when yeah. uh Deontay Hall from Kansas yeah. City. Man, when he remember what he did to the Broncos? I was there. What you mean? What he did? Oh, you was on, you was on that was a kick was return, a punt return. Punt return. Man, the human joystick. The hey, human joystick. Go back and look. He caught he caught a he caught a, a, a hitch route. Uh-huh. He juked by 12 guys. <laughs> Had guys running into each other like looking like Keystone Cops. Google that play. <laughs> that was against us in Mile High. Yeah. All right, what well, damn? Mm -hmm. That was also the game. Porter's hit him up for like 200 and had five touchdowns. Check this Ooh. out, Ocho. Yeah. Anthony Edwards says he could be the first NBA and NFL player. Ant-Man, I think I might be the first. Funny Marco, he sat down and did an interview with Funny Marco. Mm -hmm. Funny Marco asked, are you going to do it? Ant-Man, I'm going to try. First, I got to handle my business in the NBA. Minnesota, mm -hmm. we won a championship. After that, we'll figure it out. Mm. How, how tall is Anthony Edwards? About what, 6'8", six, 6'7"? Six, no, he's 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, That's it? That's it. So then he would have to play receiver, but he yes. he he get banged up, boy. Six foot. Ocho. He get banged up. Ocho. I don't know what got y'all crying about fouls in the NBA. Right. Just imagine when y'all shoot a jump shot, y'all mm -hmm. concerned about coming down on somebody's foot. Right. Can you imagine you jump your ass up in the air? They gonna snatch mm -hmm. you out the sky. 
Yeah, especially that tall. He that's that's a, that's a big target though. And, and but first, maybe Anthony Edwards is built different. You know, maybe in high school he might have been a five star recruit coming out. Obviously, I'm not sure if that would actually translate into the NFL. But still, he he's a dog at what he does, especially NBA. That's that boy. That's yeah. that boy. I'm just not okay. sure if it would translate the way he thinks it is, thinks it is, or would, would mentally. It's a it's a different it's a different animal. It's a different animal once you get to that NFL now, especially when you're that big. And everybody says, oh, he could play. Bro, do you understand? Look, I was in the league. Dion's uh-huh. a year older than me. So yes, Dion sir. came in in 89. I came in 90. Yeah. I was also in the league with both. So to say Ooh. you think somebody can do it versus actually seeing somebody do somebody it. Do it right. But I think basketball is a little bit – because I don't I don't know how often you go to NBA games, but you go watch the NBA game. You watch the eighth and ninth guy shoot the basketball. Yeah. And they don't miss. Yeah. They'll make 10, 11 shots in an effing row. Right, right. But the mindset to be a football player and deal Different. with that physicality. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You thought the NBA was physical back in the 80s and 90s, and mm-hmm. even though they've relaxed a lot of the rules in the NFL. Right. That's Defense a is different handicapped. animal. Yeah, that's a is. different animal, though, Ocho. And is. that's what I tell guys. I said, look, I'm not trying to shortchange your talent because mm-hmm. I believe you're talented. Now, right. A lot of these guys might have played football. Matt Barnes played mm-hmm. football, but mm-hmm. he gave it up to focus mm-hmm. on basketball. And right. that's what most of these guys did. Once they got to like the eighth or the ninth grade, they mm-hmm. gave it up. So they didn't play anymore, played the last right. three years of high school, didn't play. If mm-hmm. they went to college, didn't play. And then all of a sudden, you think you're just going to like pick it up? Yeah. And just, you know, his mental, his mental capacity and the way he, just the way he built, the way he thinks, you know, based on his background, based on his upbringing, he truly believes he could transition and, and do it. He truly believes that I, it is it is it a reality or is it even, even even possible? Probably not. But the way he operate and that with that dog mentality, he has the makeup to be able to do it in the DNA. But it just obviously it's too late. It's, it wouldn't even be possible because football, <laughs> football and basketball, it runs during the same time. Yes. Hey, and, and and to speak to your fact, and you know my knowledge of the game of basketball is not where it should be. But I'm well, going to we're a gonna game. We're going to get you finally. working on that, though. Listen, I'm going to a game this Monday. Me and Doug, we're going to uh, – I'm sitting courtside for the, the Lakers and Philly game. Okay. In Philly. So I'm, yeah. I'm excited. This is my first game in three years. Watch those guys. Just watch them warm up. And mm-hmm. watch how effortless they shoot the ball. Yeah. And guys will make seven, eight, ten. They'll in make seven threes in a row. Mm-hmm. And you like, bro. Yeah. How you the how you the tenth guy and you didn't miss? Yeah. But who do who do I watch? Who do I watch? Because the, the Philly Philly playing the Lakers. The Lakers playing. Well, you, Philly. well, you who know they I got Joe. They got Joel and B. Hey, that boy they got, nice. They got Tyrese Maxey. Hey, Tyrese Maxey been balling out of his mind. Yeah. Well, obviously, you know the Lakers. You know LeBron and AD LeBron, yeah. Reed. Yeah. I mean, but just a- I mean, a- the- AD playing, AD playing. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm yeah. pull, I'm gonna I'm pull him aside because he need I, he need a nutritionist. I need to holler at AD. I get AD right. Just, the last time he played, that's the second game in the first fifteen in the first fifteen the, the thirteen game yeah. that he's gone scoreless in the second half. But Wait, it, us, is there is there a reason? I don't know what the reason is. The, all I know is the Maverick has one of the worst interior defenses in basketball, and he had zero points. Well, maybe he was kicking the ball out all the time. See, I know my, that's my little that's my basketball lingo. He was kicking Ocho, the ball out. Ocho, I ain't kicking nothing out. Right. It's like what you said when you got when you got somebody and you know you can beat them. You yeah. ain't telling you ain't telling you ain't telling Carson. Hey Carson, go and feed TJ. Go ahead and feed. No, you give me that. Hey, give me that. Right. Okay. I ain't kicking I, nothing I, out. I, I, I see where you're going. When you when you that, isn't that selfish? If is it selfish if the team is winning and, and there's an open man, you don't want to dish it out. You don't want to kick it out. But you're asking an awful lot for an almost 39 year old to carry it. This is supposed to be Anthony Davis's team, right? This is what it's supposed to be now. I remember LeBron you, saying that. Remember? Yeah. yeah but yeah, you yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. But I, you got to take it. Right. You got to take it. Okay, I wanted. I, 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 I wanted to be John Elway's go to guy. Right. I took it. Mm. I made him in practice. I mm. made it the way I practice and come game time. He know mm. he going to catch it or it's going to be incomplete. Well, what if, what if his mentality is not like that? What happens just for, for, for the sake of the argument, a hypothetical question. Yeah. What mm-hmm. happens if Anthony Davis had a Kobe Bryant's type mentality? 
He be the, he he be the best player or in the NBA. A, a Ja Morant. He be the best or, player. Uh, he be the best player. Derrick Rose type mentality. Allen Iverson. That just that he, that they got he, that. He be the he would be the best player in the NBA. And that's what and see that's the difference. When I was talking, me and you was talking about earlier about a mindset. It's, Right. You see how important the mindset is? Right. Ocho, I played it, my entire career. Can he career transition? Can he it's, transition it's, into that type of mindset or is it too late? It's too, Ocho, you're 12 years in. Ocho, Ocho, you born with that. You think Kobe developed that once he got to the no, NBA? No, no, no. That you start when you're little. That, that's the, that start when you're little. That start when you're little. That, that killer yes. mindset, you don't even know you yes. got it. It's just the way you approach yes. the game. Yes. Okay, okay. I was just, I was just me, curious. Me, I was the youngest. Of all mm -hmm. my cousins, like my sister's the oldest. Of all my cousins on my mom on my mom's side, my right. sister's the oldest. Mm -hmm. And so Arnell is next to her, who's seven years older than me. Eugene was six years old, rest mm -hmm. his soul. My brother's three years, my cousin's two years. And so we playing. They mm -hmm. call and travel. They doing everything. They be hey, I right. had to develop a mindset. I say, I want to play. I'm 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 tired of being picked last. Right, oh, okay. Right, right. They I'm a throw in, Ocho. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you get the best player, if you get the best player, you also got to take the worst player, which is me. Man, ah. I got tired of that, Ocho. Right, right, right. So got, I developed develop a mindset. Skills. No, 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 no. Going to the park, I'm the last guy picked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, everybody waiting. Hey, we're going to take Sharp. Right. And so that's the mindset you got to have. And like I said, I played my entire career. At, ladies and gentlemen, I weighed 228 pounds. You not finna beat me all day long, Ocho. Right, 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 right. Be right, it spray right. hand, be it Reggie. I got mm -hmm. to win some of these battles. Right. I, I ain't saying I'm gonna win them all, but right. I got to win some. Win some. Hey, straight hand was strong. Man, straight man, man, straight lock. <laughs> was he? <laughs> yeah. Man, straight. Hey, it was Reggie hard White, to... like Reggie White with that one. No, no, see, arm Reggie strong? was a different. Reggie, Reggie was a different animal. Okay. Reggie okay, was okay. Reggie was throwing three hundred and fifty pound men. So what the right. hell do you think? I had to trick him. <laughs> had to take a had to take a false step and, right. and, and cut him off. Right. But but like we got to the Super Bowl. I really did like I really did like the cut. Right. Especially like a guy like them, because the last thing I want to do is, is injure them. this man. Right, 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 right. But it was the Super Bowl. It was the Super Bowl, oh Cho. You said fuck it, huh? I had to get it. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was cutting everything, Ocho. I was cutting right, everything. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, you you but had a he, disadvantage, man. You you had a complete yeah, disadvantage. But man. Reggie Reggie was ungodly strong. Right. Bruce was strong. Uh, uh and, and it, Bruce, you have to understand, Bruce he played basically. He got all those sacks basically in a in a three four defense. So Reggie was a five tech. I mean, uh, uh Bruce was a five technique. Technique, right. That's which crazy. Is, which is yeah, he got two hundred sacks basically, with the exception of maybe the last couple of years in Washington. Mm -hmm. He was a he was a five tech, right? Hey, Reggie, remember, remember Dexter Manley? Yeah, I, yeah. I think Dex was gone by the time I think. I don't think I played against him. I played okay. against Charles Mann, um, in in Washington. Okay, they had they had they they had a they had a good team. They had a mm -hmm. good team. We I think we played them the year after they won the Super Bowl. In '91, I think that's when we played them. Okay, I think okay, we played okay. them there. We played them in the old uh, RFK Stadium. It was a dump too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was Ocho. I don't know if you saw this video. Did you see this guy made a raccoon soup, and he made it with all the ingredients that I told you: bell pepper, onions. Yeah, I saw celery. it. On, I, I saw it on Twitter. So I want mm -hmm. you. To, I want you to do me a favor. You want to try it with me? Absolutely not. No. No, no, no. Oh, hold, yo, on, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Timeout, timeout. I got to get a timeout. I got to get a full timeout, Ocho. Yeah, you will you suck know. toes, but you won't eat no coon. Whoa. Stay, let me, let's, let's rewind that. Let me rewind this again and let me press play. You mean to tell me you'll eat some raccoon soup, but you ain't going to suck no toes? Mm -mm. No, 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 sir. Boy, raccoons eat out the garbage. Raccoons eat everything, come to me, but you won't suck on no toes I, that's clean, just had a, 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 a pedicure? I tell you what, a Boy, chicken, a chicken and a hog is nastier than a raccoon. Look it up. Yeah, I know, I know about that. I know oh, about no, that. no, 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 I know no, no, no. But, but you, I eat know it. about that. But listen, they all nasty. They okay, all nasty. Then. They I ain't all no nasty. Toes. I ain't need no toes. I ain't, you ain't got to eat it. All, all you, all you doing is taking, all you taking some, taking some ice, yeah. crushed ice. Mm -hmm. You what, she got a sprained toe or something? Back. I'll give her some toe? crushed ice for a sprained toe? No, 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 no. You start with that pinky toe and you play it like the flute, like you Andre 3000. No. Yeah. I, 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 I was never in the band. And if I were in the band, I wasn't going to play the flute. I was going to play the trumpet or the trombone. <laughs> so, no. Hey, Ocho, 
You got yeah. look. I'm talking about Ocho, Uncle yeah. Ocho. Yes, sir. Exotic, exotic eating. We mm. going all over. The, we going all over the country. All over the world. All over the world. Eating armadillo, possum, Boy, raccoon, we got turtle. Well, we got it. Listen, we got a show. We that's, that that sounds like some goddamn fifth factor shit. Now that for that. Now I I do that because one one thing I try I try anything once. Yeah. Anything try once. Now I'm talking about food. I'm, I'm talking okay. about food. I ain't yeah. I'm about yeah. to call you. Yeah, you I'm about to call you. Yeah, you, about go, to call you, call, you on yeah, your own. Me, yeah, let me clarify. I yeah, try anything. Yeah, you are here talking about you a tricycle. Talk about you a try anything. Oh no. No, no, no. Only thing try I know is tricycle. And I ain't I ain't <laughs> rolled one of them since 1990 <laughs> since 1983. <laughs> but I, but that thing look good though. You got to admit it looked good. The way he had that Listen, thing it had some cone it, bread. It looked good, but would have been better is is if if we were to have a show like that, we would travel the world and try exotic foods or exotic delicacies, or whatever it might be. You can't tell me what it is because if you tell me what it is, then mentally I ain't gonna be there. If you, you don't hey, tell Ocho, me, you don't tell do me it. it's rac, don't tell me it's raccoon soup. Just give me the soup and let me try it, and then I'll be okay. See, see, I already got you psyched out. See, I, I get me. I want some a pig ear sandwich. With old pig ear sandwich, that brioche bread and mustard. I want pig ear sandwich. I want some uh, uh, greens with pigtails in them. Okay, now, I, 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 eat pigtails, I eat pigtails. I eat pig feet. Not yeah, pig ear and pig you know tongue. Another tail you eat too, but anyway, huh? I ain't wait, you don't, wait, you don't. Wait, you don't. eat. You don't eat the I, tail. I, uh, we, we got a lot of music questions, Ocho. Donnie do, donated. Do, oh, we moving on. Donnie donated twenty dollars. <laughs> <there. laughs> oh, you got you got off that topic okay, quick. Yeah. Huh? Uncle eighty five. What music did you listen to before the game during your career? Boy, them boys hated me. And I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm not sure if any of my former players or former teammates are in this chat, but boy, they, um, they hated me. We had a surround sound system, right? Yeah. And you know, game day, seniority rules. <laughs> seniority rules, whoever gets to that surround sound system first, and that is the music you get to hear. <laughs> Unk. Well, you, you had know, Ocho. Man, Unk, I had Frank Sinatra playing. I had blues, classical music playing. Unk, I had gospel playing. And they come in there hollering, screaming, man, get this bullshit off the goddamn. We trying to get ready for a game. And, you know, man, shit, put your earphones on. Put your earphones <laughs> on. Because for me, Unk, I done did so much shit talking through the week, through the media, playing around, giving the other team bulletin board material. The last thing I needed needed to be on game day was rah, rah, rah. How to, how, I needed to be relaxed in a nice, calm, and quiet mental state because now I got to go out there and perform and back yep. up all that shit I done talked during the week. So yeah. I needed I needed that classical music. I needed that jazz. I need to hear Frank Sinatra. So I was in a calm state. So I went out there and I was able to execute and back up all that shit I talked. Man, they hated me, man. They hated me. I, the, I was the exact same way. Michelle and Dega Ocello was one. Mm -hmm. Maxwell was two. Oh, Shade was that's three. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ocho, I couldn't listen to that get me up because my because I'm already amped. Yeah. Man, my heart be about to explode. So right, I right, needed right. something to calm me down. Mm -hmm. Man, man, you know what Michael Parsons said? He took that C4 powder. Mm -hmm. Ocho, I took some of that before the game. The guy's yeah. like, man, Sharp, take this. Ocho, I like to pass out, Ocho. Serious? You took like too to much, huh? Out. Ocho, I'm already amp. I'm already right. a guy that gets going. Naturally, man, naturally. I... Yeah. Ocho, I ran down there on kickoff. I missed him. Mm -hmm. Man, I was on the oxygen for about about ten minutes, Ocho. <laughs> and you was in I, Denver, so you already sitting high, huh? Already, I say never again. Listen to some music, listen to that music. Everybody, right. I, I was at height. That, right. well, see, when I was in Baltimore, Mystical. Mm -hmm. I remember when Mystical came out. Oh yeah, he was hot then, boy. Danger. Back then, yeah, he was hot. There I go. Yeah. There mm -hmm. I yeah. go. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he was. He was hot. He was hot. Man, and then Ray coming out there. Any dogs in the house? I said, man, y'all on y'all on on this one. <laughs> hey, oh, y'all in the back. I said, y'all, yeah, they they over there. Listen, I can't do it, Ocho. Yeah, and hey, that's crazy, man. I, I wish hey, that's that's somebody. I know I'm I'm going off topic a little bit based on the question that was asked. Where I already yeah. answered though. Ray Lewis, Ray Lewis, uh, Lorenzo Neal, Denzel Washington, and Deion Sanders. Yeah, I don't know, and I wish people would have had the opportunity to talk to these individuals, let's say if you have an issue in life, you know, mm -hmm. and if, if, if they was therapists, the way they can command the ear when mm -hmm. they talk, man, it's, it's, it's something they should have been preachers. 
<laughs> Lorenzo Neal, man, I, I haven't seen Zoe in so long. Zoe, I, if you see this, man, I love you. And Ray, you know, Ray and I, this is a funny thing. Ray and I, we read a scripture every morning for a decade straight, every Sunday. Every Sunday. And the funny thing about it is when we play the Ravens, we would read a scripture together at 10 o'clock. And then we meet up at we meet up at the 50 before the game. And then we go on the field and he be knocking he be, he be, he be oh <laughs> man, I'm like, Ray, this me, baby. Uh -oh. it, it was so funny, man. Now, that's mm -hmm. some of the stuff with the question you asked earlier about what you miss about the game. That's what I miss, man. The competing, oh, yeah. you know, the, the the friendships and the relationships that I built throughout the years. And uh, I, I really miss that. I really, really do, man. Truly do, man. Damn, I miss them boys. Uh, no place underscore like underscore homes donated $20. Ocho, don't embellish. Did Toby, uh, we Giwi? Is that the yeah. guy that wrote? No, did Toby, he... Toby, Toby Wigway. Toby Wigway. Wigway. Okay. Yeah. Did he write all the lyrics or did you have some input? Speaking nah. about excessive celebration with to Toby, so you didn't wrote, do nothing, no, Toby. Nah, I, nah. He he wrote my lyrics. He he wrote he wrote my lyrics, but it was perfect for me based on who I was. So the lyrics were perfect. So I came with my own lyrics, but the NFL wouldn't they wouldn't clear it because when I when I when I rap, I like to curse. So we had to get clearance from the NFL because this oh, no, was this, yeah, this is a Super Bowl commercial. It's a Super Bowl commercial, so you know they ain't playing about that. Oh no! They ain't, they ain't playing not. about that. Absolutely so I, not. Yeah, I went. I went with Toby lyrics because that is his profession. He's really good at what he what he does. Right. Toby, I appreciate you. I know you're gonna see this. I love you. But um, I, I was just grateful. I was grateful for the opportunity to work to work with one of the one of the best artists in the game today, and uh, it was it was dope. So right now, I really think I'm a rapper. Right. Rory uh, donated twenty dollars and said Meg the Stallion was on IG jamming Nickelback. What music do you like that would be would that would surprise people? For me, oh, Leonard Skinner. Leonard Sweet Skinner. Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama. Free Bird. Simple Man. Boy. Oh, oh I thought you were talking about, you talking about the, the wrestlers, the Free Bird? No. Michael Hayes, the free, song. Terry Gordy. <laughs> nah, if I leave here tomorrow, would oh, you was... still remember me? No, Free Bird. Leonard Skinner, Free uh, Birds. But yeah. I, I love me some Skinner. I thought I thought he was about to ask us a question about Megan Thee Stallion. I was like, uh, I don't know her like that. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know Meg either. I don't know Meg. She's stacked she up though. She's stacked you know, up. Stacked up stack like dirty up? laundry in the dorm room. She is. What? I, I mean, I don't, man, you know, I don't, I don't really listen to rap like that. Out of the swamp raised possum. So you don't know nothing about this. They get the most swamp raised possum. They yeah. bad Ocho. Ooh. Yeah. Now you get them with some good old white white potatoes or some yam potatoes. Yeah. And you bake that. You put that joke in the oven. Yes, sir. No. So I have a question. Would yeah. you have any interest in dating Megan and Stallion since she stacked up like nah, a possum? No. <laughs> well, you just a said swamp ra a swamp raised possum. Oh, a, a swamp raised possum. So yeah, yeah, they down there to get. I can hook that up because Meg gonna. No, see you this. can't hook that. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, well, make up your mind now. You can't give someone. You can't give someone credit I, Ocho, based on Ocho, based can, on being stacked can up, I, can, but then say you don't want to. Can I? Can I? Can I give people their flowers, Ocho? Okay. Well, why you don't want to give Dak his flowers? Oh Lord, have mercy. I'm just saying, why I you gave giving Dak, flowers? Did I not give Dak flowers last night, Ocho? Okay, you did, you did, you did. I'm going to let you slide. I'm going to let you slide. Okay, Danny donated $10. Hey, up, Danny? If no, it's not much, but I love you, Chad. It's my B-Day, and have a <laughs> and you have a voice of an angel. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, Danny, be happy, yeah, man, <laughs> hey, well, be hey, well, hey, hey, yeah, Danny, you I, appreciate, happy birthday. I appreciate you, Danny. Happy birthday. I'm going to sing, I'm going to sing Danny, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Jeez. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to my motherfucking dog, my dude, Danny. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you hit that. You hit that. You hit it. You hit it. You hit it. You hit it. sound good, huh? Yeah. I, yeah. I, you I, that, that, I, I stayed in range. Yeah. You Normally, did. when I go out of range and I sound yeah, crazy because I had yeah, no peppermint yeah. tea. Mm, yeah, mm, I gotta bring yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah, bring it yeah. down or not? Yeah. Hey, salute stay you, Danny. Appreciate that ten dollars, homie. Basically, stay in your stay in your talking boys. I do, I do. Yeah, <laughs> you, you you're exactly right. Until I get some vo I, my vocal coach, my vocal coach. Uh, she moved. She moved to uh, goddamn uh, Netherlands. Oh, check this out. Jerry Lee donated fifty dollars and asked Uncle Ocho, "Much love 50. here from the Asian community in Central Valley, California. I need to know: Does Chad Ocho Cinco get more numbers?" Then with you, number seven, let's get 350. Then you, 
Does he get does Ocho Cinco? Oh, does he? Oh, okay. Does Chad Ocho Cinco get more numbers? Which means right. does he have better numbers, more touchdowns with right. me, with you, than with me? No. Yes. Oh Lord have mercy. Yes. You believe that? Yeah. I, I really don't understand the question. He's saying, do, do you believe that uh, he's asking, basically asking you, do right. you believe John Elway would have had better numbers with you than with me? Well, if John Elway had me, then the numbers that I have right now would probably be double what they are. Your numbers? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. You put me in that offense. You put me in that offense, boy. I would have went crazy. Nah, you add lib too much. Nah, that, that you add lib too much. I don't add lib. Like that. I can't add lib. I did yeah, not. Did. How you gonna tell you me did. I add lib? Because I saw you do. No, you, you did. didn't. Yeah, I, did. I don't add lib. I don't add lib. I don't <laughs> add lib unless it's a song plan. I'll call yeah. Carson right now. Now you don't need to call Carson right now. Carson lie too. You think John Elway <laughs> gonna say something against me? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but you you know you can't you can't you can't ad lib in, in a time and offense though. Check this out. Uncultured yes, J asks top five movies and TV shows guaranteed you'll see in the black household. Friday, number one. Friday, Friday number one. Friday. Oh, hey, I was gonna I was gonna go Hall of Nights. Nice. Hall oh, of Nights nice Life. Hall of Nights nice Life or Friday. Uh, Coming to America. That's Hall three. Hall of Nights nice Life. Uh Coming to America. To America Friday. Yeah, yeah and... Friday. Who will be number five? Training day? No. Yeah, but, hey, that's, but that's too I, I'm talking about like I'm talking about like black cult, like like Friday Lifetime. and and life. Those, those are I like the wash with Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Okay, okay penitentiary was a little bit before your time. I like yeah. penitentiary. Mm -hmm. Uh, I Shaft. like dead. I like dead presidents. Dead presidents. That's a good one. No, boys in <laughs> no. the hood. Boys for sure. Anytime boys Men, in the hood. On, menace to society. Menace to society. You now, said dead presidents. TV show, you said dead black, presidents already, right? Dead presidents. Black okay. TV shows. Martin, Martin, in living uh, color, Jamie Fox, <laughs> yeah, in living color, good times, uh, Sam and time. Son, living single, yeah, oh, living single, that's a good one, that's a good one, oh, that's and a good the Cos one. but you know Cosby, Cosby Show, Show. Cosby Show, I mean, classic, what he got going on, notwithstanding, right, you can't, Cosby you can't Show. deny the man genius Matter when fact, it comes I got to a, that. I got a question. Hey, for the chat, y'all yes. might be too long, young for this, but I know you're going to remember. Please tell me about the episode of The Cosby Show when the opera singer Placido Domingo was on and he sang Besame Mucho. You probably don't remember, huh? You remember that episode? Mm -mm. Oh, my God. Um, oh, my goodness. Dog, one of the greatest episodes outside of the one where Lil Rudy sang um, the yeah. song on the stairs when they, they, they had the... Um, Baby, I, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot the name of the song that they sang with yeah. the whole family perform <laughs> yeah. on the stage. Dog, oh, that was classic. Cosby Show was a, a really, really good TV series. Really good TV series. Rudy Huxtable grew up to be some type of woman for herself. Yeah, Rudy, 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 real deal now. Rudy, real deal. <laughs> okay, now, no, hey, don't let Rail, don't, hey, don't mess this up, Rail. Talking about you nah, can't be on, on the show with Hulk no more. Come on now, I'm, I'm just nah, saying. Based nah, on I'm just what saying, you, I'm just, hey, you just let me talk. Because right. I don't want Rail to cancel us. Rail, okay. Rail, Rail hold a lot of power. Rail, we ain't mean no harm. We just, you know, we just chewing the fat. It's just right. two we, homies we, we, just, we, just yeah, carrying we just, on. We just shooting the shit. No, no. That's no, all. No, no, no ill intent. <laughs> uh, Rodney Dink is my homeboy. Uh, in my opinion, I always felt like you could have played the NBA or triple jump in the Olympic. What do you think? I wanted to be muscles. I wanted to have too much muscles. I couldn't. I yeah. got too big, Ojo. I got too big, yeah. but I was I was a, 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 a triple jumper, you know, through the desk, long jump, ran on the relay teams, average thirty my senior year Ooh. before the three point shot. Oh, you average thirty two and three quarter hit fifty two and three quarters. Still well, who got the record. Well, who you was playing with? Fifty two and fifty two. That what you know. tell me? Who you who you was playing with? I need to see I, the competition. What you what? what? Ocho, Ocho. Were you you were one A? When it come to me, there was no there was no competition. I just want you to know, check this out, Ocho. You was in Georgia, age. Georgia. Let me explain to you in Georgia. Let me tell you the guys that came out of class A. Myself, Herschel Walker, mm. George Rogers, mm. Champ Bailey, Ooh, Garrison Hurst, yes, Sterling so. Sharp. Yeah. Talk to me, all man. those, all, all those guys. Yeah. Uh double A, uh, what you call it, was one class up, I think was uh mm. Takeo Spikes. The only Spikes. guy the uh, now this last crop that's come out, Cam mm. was like. Upper class, like four right, quad, right. a five a, uh, 
Alvin Kamara. But hey. early on, most of the guys came out of single-A football. But I need to see. I need to see this 52 you talking about. I need to see the co level of Gave competition you was playing Gave against. Where you there played, was no competition, Ocho. Oh, Ocho, there was they, no thank competition. You. Thank you. Thank okay. you. There was so no competition, competition was Ocho. Bad. I was in a class by myself. Do you understand that? Okay. I, I, I shouldn't you. have been in. It was just like Herschel. Herschel had 3,100 yards and 45 touchdowns a senior year. And people say, who? You see how he looked as a freshman? So imagine yeah. that as a freshman, rush for mm -hmm. 1,600 yards. What the hell you think you're going to do in high school? Right. You're right. Look at George Rogers, won the Heisman Trophy. What the hell you think you're going to do in high school? Mm -hmm. Look at Garrison Hurts. What the yeah. hell you think you're going to do in high school? Right. Champ. Right. Champ went to a Class A high school. All yeah. that athleticism, he went to Charlton County. Mm -hmm. We played. Well, I'm, I'm way older than Champ, but we played them. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, oh you better. I'm, I'm just saying that fit that 52, but that that's 52. I gotta check. I got I gotta I gotta check. I gotta see that. Ocho, check this. You can who let, let's play one on one. If you, you Ocho, you, right. you, Ocho. Like I played once I got drafted, I played that last I played one more year after I got drafted. Right. I went to I went to my hometown. I say this is gonna be my last time ever playing on this court. Right. I said, I'm not losing. Mm. I say, y'all put me with any five, and I'm not losing. Mm -hmm. I walked out the court undefeated. Never right. played again, and so, then that was it. Because I, so I, I didn't so want to, so I didn't so want to scared. run the risk. I didn't want to run the risk of tearing the ACL, man. My Ocho, I didn't do anything that could jeopardize football. But I'm talking Nothing. about right now. Play me since you're so good in Ocho, basketball. I play me played, one on one. Ocho, Ocho, I haven't shot a basketball in 32 years. I ain't rode a bike in 40 years, and I can still get on ride to go it. Ride to go bike. Oh, Lord, have mercy, man. It's called Ooh. muscle memory. Either you got it or you don't. Are you I that boy that much. you just told me that dropped 52 back then? So now all of a sudden, now, nah, oh, you ain't done it in so long, Ocho. you can't do it. If you a shooter, you can shoot. Ocho. Are you, you Steph Curry or not? No. Are you Steph Curry or not? I ain't Chef Boardy now, let alone Chef Steph. If you got it, one thing about us, black don't crack and we don't lose it. We just lose opportunities. So either you're going to get on this court and play me one-on-one -on -one no. or you're scared of me. So now you want to be the man with two repaired hips, huh? So, oh, now you, you making excuses? Ain't no are you are you making excuses? I don't <laughs> care if you I don't care if you was in a wheelchair. When we get on that court, I'm going to dunk on your ass. Uh, yo, Ocho, you ain't dunking nothing but donuts. That too. Okay. <laughs> Damn Chaos said, donated $20 to ask gents. Top five martial arts actors of all time, dead or alive. Well, Bruce Lee, number martial one. Martial Bruce Lee, number one. Chuck Jackie, Norris. Jackie, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chuck whoa. Norris. Over Van Damme? I'm going to go him. Did okay. He didn't say give him no particular order. Okay, 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 okay. Go ahead. Oh, Chuck Norris, Van Damme, Bruce okay. Lee, right. Jackie Chan. I, I was waiting on that one. And, and there's Man. one more. What's I'm the one? With Jet, Jet Lee? Michael Is J. That... White. Michael J. White. He is he is in the martial arts. What's the other guy from Jet Li, the movie Jet Li? I don't know. I don't Jet Li, Jet Li, that's him. Oh, Jet that's Lee. his name. Yeah, Jet Li. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, Jet Li. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. Michelangelo, Jose Jalapeno on a stick donated ten dollars and said, "Hey Ocho, I've been trying <laughs> to challenge Ocho on uh Xbox to a game of FIFA, but he's yeah. been ducking me. So I figured this is the best way to contact him. Love right. you guys. Please don't stop making this show." So yeah. Jose Jalapeno on a stick say you've been ducking him. He say well, he won't that smoke on FIFA. Well, well, the, technically, how I know he, Jose on a smoke jalapeno ain't really serious about no goddamn FIFA. It ain't even called motherfucking FIFA no more. It's called EAFC. So that let me know he's sorry as hell. He say he want to beat you on whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. FIFA, I, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, whatever you call it. I ain't he ain't gonna he gonna lose to me. He gonna lose to me because he ain't well, he, 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 he even saying the title right. He know how to find me. Anybody in the gaming world knows my gamer tag and they know how to find me. I ain't hard you, to find. You scared? Child, please. You scared? I ain't hard to find. You scared? I mean, I find I, I know even, even, even if I'm scared, I ain't hard to find. All, all you well, gotta do you is pull from? up. What you running from? Same so what else you wanna talk about? Same reason you don't wanna wanna play me one on one. Oh, Joe, I have Ocho, reason. the last time I don't, time, care, the last I don't time care about I, your surgeries. I don't care nothing about your hip. Play me one on one. I don't want to hear none of all them. The excuses. last time I shot a basketball, I weighed about 212 pounds. I'm about 247 and I'm a lot more muscle bound uh, now than I was then. Who, what does muscle have to do? Dwight Howard muscle bound, too. He ain't made no excuses. And he can't shoot worth a lick. Well, you what? you better go to the hoop. You better go to the hoop and try to lay it up. Go to the hoop and try to lay it up. What, what? Ocho. Ocho. See, I just hey, all I'm gonna do is dribble just like this here. That's fine. 
That's fine. I'm coming up right up under that and I'm stealing the ball. Next. Oh, Lord. Next. Ocho, Ocho, you can't play no basketball. You didn't play basketball in high school. Yo, um, did you not listen to me when I told you uh, multiple shows ago the NBA players come to train with me to help with their off the ball How movement about this? and come and what? And come off the here? dribble. Yeah. All I know on the all area team, if you go back and look at 19, what was that, 85 or 86, I know two players made the team Shannon Sharp and Purvis Ellison. I ain't you ever heard that. of him? I'm, I'm talking about 20, 2023. I want to play one-on-one. At it. I, I come to L.A. I come to L.A., get your camera crew so we can have some footage. We, 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 nightcap. Ocho, Ocho, Ocho I versus I tell you what. I tell you one what. On one. I'll play you in the basketball. You come in the gym and work out with me. I We're going to put some I'm, weight on there. They, 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 what can't, you can't. I'm, I'm boxing right now. I cannot can't. lift any weight. They ain't got to do with it. Oh, oh, look at, hey, look at Holyfield. Holyfield lifted. Mm-hmm. Oh. Please Holy understand. Field lifted. Please, please, please understand. I cannot lift weights. I can only do cannot, band work right now and light, cannot, light work. The inability to do something. Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson has the ability. He I can. cannot lift heavy weights right now because I have that a fight coming up. That ain't got nothing up. to do with me. All right. I cannot shoot light basketballs right now. You yes, understand? You I'm training yes, for something. Yes, you can. Okay, yes, then. What you, tra- you, you training scared, for? So you you training you for Mister? Are you training for Mister Olympia? I'm trying to, to put these little pythons around your neck. I'm about to put a Draymond on you. First thing I nah. see, I put that Draymond on you. You nah. see that right there? Nah, you should, nah, Ooh. nah. I ain't, ain't gonna happen. Go to sleep. Ain't happen. Go to sleep. Beat that. you down. Beat your old man down too. Yeah. Fifth <laughs> <laughs> Steelers donated fifty dollars and asked if you guys switch positions in your career, who would have excelled better in a new position? Also, um, when are you bringing Laporte down here to Canada? Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. First of all, Ocho, see, I played wide receiver at least for two months. He ain't right. never played tight end. What you mean? I never. I played running back. I played running back. We tight end in the NFL. Well, I ain't. I ain't built to be no tight end. So it's a hypothetical question that just really don't make no sense. But honestly, I'm, gonna, I'm just a better player all around. So regardless of what I'm position I would play. Obviously, it would be me. No. Common sense tell you that. No, no, common sense. Yeah. No. Can no. you imagine if I, I played tight end? Man, give me Better give me throw your little ass all over the place. You only weigh a buck 50. No, 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 no. I'm I got obviously hypothetically speaking, I'll be 228. 228 <laughs> with these with these feet? Shit. Wow, you ain't gonna have no feet at 228. I promise huh? you that. You ain't gonna have no feet at 228. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> You might have better feet than what I had, but you ain't having the feet that you got that you had when you played. Not in that way. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But uh, you you gonna come work out with me? Yeah, yeah. But I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't lift too heavy. You you can't. When 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 is the uh, boxing exhibition? February. Okay. Once the once that over with. Yeah, we're gonna put some. Oh, once it's over with. Matter of fact, you I can show. Matter of fact, when y'all edit, when we talk about edit. The people can find the pictures while I was about two o five, and I, I'm they, they they online. I was huge. I was about two o five. I was huge. You, I was about you, and you size. never been two twenty five. You can't be two twenty five. Couldn't. There's footage on Twitter and Instagram of me benching benching three fifteen. No, sir. This is when I was big. I, t- I I'm I'm serious. I, it was might have been twenty eighteen. I was. I looked like a fucking. No. I looked like a fucking tight end. I was huge. No, you didn't. You didn't. Tr- you didn't. All right. You did you'll not. see. I, somebody gonna pull the somebody gonna edit somebody gonna pull it. I was huge. Any more questions? What you want to talk about, Ocho? We got like five more minutes to go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm feeling good today too. I've been I'm I've been talking. I've been talking like crazy. I mean, you you got really. I mean, you there. You you got really. Oh, Pro Football Focus had Alan Lazar drop percentage on on target passes at twenty percent. Oh, the next worst is Van Jefferson at eighteen percent. Same. Was Van Jefferson ever a healthy scratch? No. Oh, yeah. Remember, they went out and got Odell with Van Jefferson there. Puka, Nakua is playing in front of him. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you've uh, been a healthy scratch. Nah, I ain't a healthy <laughs> Ocho, scratch. Ocho, I, look, you see, you what you're doing is that you're shooting the harbinger, which is the messenger, which is me. No, 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 but your message is wrong. 
You why got you, the right. You got the right message, but the wrong message because what you're Ocho, saying is not the reason Ocho. why he was a healthy scratch. You why ain't, you oh, be, he's a healthy scratch because oh he dropped balls. That don't even make no goddamn why, sense. Why? Why you beat up the mailman for delivering the bills? You the one that got them people ish. No, 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 no. You no, beat no. me up because all I did do my job. You are because you're saying he's a healthy scratch for the wrong reason. That's not I, the reason. I'm just telling you what was reported. But the it, so you you believe everything you read. Do you believe everything you read? So let me ask Do you. Do you believe everything you read? Why did so why wasn't he in, why wasn't he in uniform and he that's healthy? why I, that's the first thing I said is probably something internal that we don't know about. And goddamn, whoever reported it, it just motherfucking guessing, oh, this is the reason. When that, that ain't even the goddamn Ocho. reason. And we running Ocho. with it when I know that's probably not it. Ocho. I guarantee that in it, because I ain't the, never the heard internal of a thing, healthy yeah, scratch. The, oh, you know inter- what? He dropping too many balls. Let's bench the, in, what? The internal the internal issue. Is that he hadn't played well. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, hold on. Robert Sala, when asked why Alan Lazard was a healthy scratch, he know his play is not up to standard. Robert Sala, Josina Anderson just reported, Robert Sala on why Alan Lazard was a healthy scratch, he knows his play is not his standard. Well, if that's okay. the goddamn case, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. If his, no, no, no. no, no. The case if his, ain't if no, no, Robert, no, no. If Robert hold Salah, on, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm going to let you go. If Robert Salah said Alan Lazar's play is not up to standard, so he was a healthy scratch, they should have forfeited the whole fucking game because the whole offense ain't been up to standard since the season started. They should Ooh. just forfeited the game. Because ain't quite nobody, hostile. ain't nobody offensively done done shit, so they should have forfeited no, the goddamn game no. and start playing the Dolphins. I'm just, I'm just saying, if that's the excuse you want to lead with, if that's the excuse Robert Sala want to get a motherfucking media, that's some I'm, bullshit. Bench I'm air, take, goddamn body. I'm Bitch taken aback by this. Thing. Oh my god! I'm just, I'm just saying, if that's what he want to say, if that's what he want to say, his play isn't up to standards. What well, neither is the other motherfucking ten on the goddamn field. Wow. Bench everybody. Wow. That scapegoat. I think you owe. First of all, Scape, I think you scapegoat. owe me an apology. You owe oh, me an apology. I, I love you. I love you. But I'm just. I'm speaking my feelings. I'm speaking my feelings on that bullshit excuse. Nope. Coach just used. Alan Lazard is the goddamn scapegoat because shit ain't going well. You know what? Whoa. I got. I got to find a way to get the heat off of. I got to find a way to put the heat on somebody. Oh, you know who we gonna pick on? No, we gonna pick on motherfucking Alan you Lazard. You told me. You made me come out here and give Jalen Hurts and give Dak Prescott an apology. I want my apology. What if I when I tried to tell no, no, you apologize because you called me a lie. You say you big bald head black lie. Now I want an apology, and I know the people in the chat. People, let's get a thing. Do y'all do y'all want Chad to give me an apology? I think the people because in the he's chat, been very the, the, pe- the, the, the people in the chat, they better be on my side and, and see and they see know your bullshit side. they did that they doing no, over no there in New York. Ain't no bullshit. Ain't no bullshit. Ain't no bullshit. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, <laughs> his play hasn't been a standard. Well, who Whoa. motherfucking play has? Who Whoa. play over there has in week we, ten? Name me somebody me, who played in New York. Hold on, play Ocho. has been up to standard. Ocho. What you just told me when I said yes, you got to have a belief, you yes, say sir. it's your job to do your job. Why are you worried about what somebody else is doing other than Alan Lazard? Let's talk about him. I'm just going by what you said. You well, based said. On, well, based on what the coach said, the coach said Alan Lazard play wasn't up to par. That's why it was healthy scratch. And then my next bit was, well, who the fuck play has been up to par? I'm talking about him. Okay. This is a team game. It's a team game, ain't it? It's a team game. Or not? I'm just waiting on my apology. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. No, thank you. That's all you had to do. <laughs> <laughs> but still, boy, boy, they, hey, look, boy, they, boy, Robert Salah, I think he's slick, boy. Don't try, don't, 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 try, don't try, don't try, don't try to put that on my dog. Don't try to put that on my dog. Oh, his play up the part. Well, goddamn it, who uh-huh. play has been up the part? Who? Yes. And the fans say like you, 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 you supposed to have apologized, but he did, and I appreciate that. Child. <laughs> I don't try, please. I hey, try to wait, tell you. Ocho. Wait, listen, I see the Ocho. little game. I see the games they playing over there in New York. I Ocho. see. The, I, see I read through all the little bullshit. I see what they trying to do. I see what they I trying to do. You, if I tell you, I see what they duck, trying to do. If I tell you, duck smoke cigarettes, check his wing. He got a pack up under there. So when I tell you, so believe it. I, I know you. Are you? How do you not see what they trying to do? 
How do you I not see, see what, what they're trying to do? I see what you're trying to do. How do you not see what they're trying to do? I see what well, you you're know what? trying to do. We got the finest scapegoat. You know what? Let's play. Let's let's put it on the Adam Ocho Lazard. or Uncle Apology. Seventy five percent. Let's hey, let's put it on Alan Lazard. You know, get some of the heat off the head coach. Get some of the heat off Zach Wilson. Get some of the heat off off Boyle. Guess, guess what? Listen, stay with me now. Guess what's going to be the headline? Oh, Alan Lazard benched because of he was a healthy scratch. That's all they're going to talk about. Yeah, watch. I guarantee that's all they're going to talk about. Yeah, you over there talking about? I'm appalled that somebody would say that about Alan Lazard. Hey, hey, they think they slick over there in New York trying to put that. Nah, they think they slick. Desmond Desmond Bynum donated ten dollars and said help Savannah in the house. Appreciate that, Des. Des Wah, Bynum. Which state produces the best NFL players, Georgia or Florida? Florida. <sighs> Florida. I close. Pe- pe- I give. It's close. It's close. It's close. Y'all got Florida. Them. Y'all Florida. Got them. Okay. Okay. Because you talk about it's close. I mean, it's, y'all got it some talent close. come out of there. Now, no disrespect. We all got some dogs now. But Florida, boy, it's something in the water, boy. Don't it is. That. It's something in the water at Georgia. That's why them Bulldogs kicking. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all Florida schools doing now? Huh? Uh, what the Florida school doing? Them Georgia Bulldogs. That wasn't the question. The question oh, okay, was bad. asked. Okay, yeah, state, state, yeah, state, yeah state, in, in Georgia. I've been in Florida, Florida, but but you know, hey, look, I mean, you know, Georgia, Florida, Texas, mm. California, mm. then probably Ohio, something like that. Yeah, but yeah. we in the top five for sure. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely, y'all, y'all top five. Did we? Did you? You didn't mention Texas, did you? Texas, yeah. Texas got the uh, boys too. Georgia, man. Florida, Texas, Cali, okay. Ohio, okay. Louisiana right. is up there too. The boot, the boot right. got them too now. Yeah, they but got, it's the southern them. states where it's warm down there year mm-hmm. round. We mm-hmm. get out there barefooted, no shirt. We run around on the right. on the yeah. dirt road or the that black asphalt. Mm-hmm. We get we get we get used to that. We yeah, get used right. to that. Right. Oh, Joe, seventy five percent say you owe me an apology. My God, damn, I didn't apologize already. Now I just say, did y'all did y'all like Ocho apology? Do y'all I think he I ain't, meant I ain't, it? I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with that now. Now I didn't apologize already. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Got... An apology is a, right. so. I just want you to know the best apology is change behavior. So right. don't you question, Unc. <laughs> What have we got? What have we got? We have another question in the ash. Oh shit! Hey, that was got funny. It. Yeah, New York media. I know y'all gonna see this. Y'all ain't slick. I ain't gonna let you pull that pull the wool over my eyes. You can pull it over most everybody top, else. Since uh most uh most top fifty NFL draft picks by home state since twenty nineteen, Texas is number one, uh thirty five, right? Uh, wow. Florida is number two at twenty nine. Georgia is number three at twenty six. California is number four at 19, and Louisiana is number five at 14. I love how we capped it off at 2019. I mean, no, I'm saying we know we, what, we, what do you want to go back to, to 1950? Now nah, go to 2000, <laughs> 2009. <laughs> man, ain't nobody got all, man, we have to go. <laughs> yeah, you see what it is? It's only three. And so it's close. You tried to make it seem like y'all had 50 and we got 10. It's close. I told you. I said it's close. Okay. All right. But I'm not surprised by Texas, given how big Texas is. Texas is huge. Right. Yeah. Good high school football. Good high school football down there. Texas probably got got more people than Georgia and Florida combined. So I'm not surprised. Right. But I'm surprised that California, because California got 40 million people. Got mm-hmm. more people than anybody in the state, yeah. so I'm surprised that they don't have more. Mm-hmm. Aren't you? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. When I think about California, for some reason, all the linemen and the quarterbacks come from California. They do. All the linemen and the quarterbacks come from California. Yeah. We have skill position here and there, yeah. but more so from the south, all the skill position players come from. In every blue, every blue moon, we you know you sprinkle a a, a nice legit one. Yeah, because you get C.J. Stroud, he's from California. You mm-hmm. get uh, 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 Bryce Young, he's from California. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so, funny, funny, it's always been like that. Yeah, and uh, well, what you call him? He's not, I, I think, uh, Caleb Williams, I think he's from D.C. Okay. DMV okay. area. He That's is? what I think he's from. Yeah, I think so. He's okay. not from Cali. He just went to, he went to, well, he went to Oklahoma first and then transferred right. with uh, the coach out there. Guys, thank you for tuning in for our special episode whoa, whoa, whoa. of Nightcap, even though it was Daycap. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure subscribe. you click that like button. 
make sure you got to get us to 350 by Monday. Where are we? Are you get 335? Let's go. 350. Okay. We, 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 we are nine. We're eight. We're eight subs away from 335,000, Ocho. Eight well, we, subs away. Yeah, we so we're going to be, at, and we got, we got Sunday, Monday. We got two shows. So yeah. we got Saturday. So we got to average about 15, we got to average about 15, about 5,000 a day. Mm. In order to uh, t- in order to get that number, and it's going to be very very special because I you know our end goal is obviously to get a million subs. Mm. We got to get a million. That's our goal. Yeah. yeah. And then you know, two more we'll questions. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. In fact, uh, did you hear from the doctor yet? About what? What you mean oh, about what? I don't, I don't talk. Uh, what you call him? Say Hayes McClendon. Donated ten dollars. I want to give you Unc and Ocho much break for putting in work. My question for both of you is: Was DBs okay? What DBs gave y'all fits in your day playing? Well, the guy I think that mm. made me the play, come to play out I am is Albert Lewis. Mm. Long six two. He was six two. Mm. Uh, could play inside. Could play outside. Mm. Came from Grambling State. Feathery. He constantly gave me a different look. I made. He made. He made me. Mm-hmm. He forced me to become what I became mm-hmm. because I knew if I could beat him, I could beat anybody. Right. And so he had the most impact that says, okay, in order for you to be what you think you can be, you mm-hmm. have to consistently beat him. Right. And I knew I was legit when he was in Kansas city and the Raiders signed him. He was their number one. He was the number one free agent mm-hmm. because I was cooking the Raiders. Yeah. I could, they had nothing. Nobody could do anything with me. T Mac. Eddie Anderson, none of them. Uh, 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 Washington, none of them. Right. They couldn't see me. I cooked them all. Mm-hmm. So they went and got Albert. Right. He slowed me down, but he ain't stopped me. Stop me. <laughs> <laughs> he slowed me down, but he ain't stopped right. me. Which, Michael asked, better safety, Steve Atwater, Troy Palomalu, Ronnie Lott. They're all Ooh, different. Different. Because you different. do realize Ronnie came in as a corner. Mm-hmm. Ronnie was an all-pro at corner. Yeah. So people don't realize that he moved to safety. Mm-hmm. He was they were they were they were different. Atwater was a true strong safety, strong safety like Brian Dawkins, like B. Dog. Like B-Dog. and although Troy, they did Troy was so skilled. He lined up everywhere, everywhere. He'd be at the line of scrimmage, scrimmage and he's and supposed to be back. in the hole, or he's yeah. supposed to be in the two deep. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, why? I mean. He uh I was my last year was his rookie year because he and Ed, if I'm not mistaken, came out the same year. Yeah. No, Ed yeah, Ed, no, Ed came out my last year. Troy came out with Detroit. Did they both come out in 03? I think I played against Ed one year. I think I played against Troy one year too. It might have been. Did one come out in 02 and one other came out in 03? Or both came out in 03? Both came out in 03. Troy came out in 03. Ed came out in what? O two, I think Ed came out in O two because Ed. I didn't play with Ed. I left. I left Baltimore after the O one season. Right. And I think. I think. So what year did Ed come out? O two. Ed came out in O two. Mm-hmm. But for me, the best safety that I ever broke down, that I ever played against, that I ever saw was Ed Reed. Yeah. For me, for me, it was Ed Ed and Troy. Ed and Troy, yeah. unbelievable. And the, the 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 fact of the matter was they did things, I call it exotic coverages. They did things that were very confusing that no other team could do because of the way the defense was constructed. There was no yeah. weakness. There was no weakness in the secondary. There was no weakness at the front line. And they did some of the craziest stuff. Just like you mentioned, Troy, we don't know what the damn coverage is because everybody at the goddamn line of scrimmage. Everybody, mm-hmm. and as soon as the ball snap, everybody running to where they supposed to be, and you, you got to hold the ball because you don't know what's going on. And previously, somebody asked a question about what DB gave you the most fits. And yeah. for me, it really wasn't a, a DB in itself outside Revis. of what uh, outside of what Revis did. Revis. but early in my career, the good the good battles where I had to, I had to I had to you know tie my shoes tight. Ike Taylor, Lee Bodden, um. Who else, man? Who else? Chris McAllister used to choke you out. Not, listen, Chris McAllister. Like you got, you got to be on. You got to be. You got to be on your A game. I had to be on my A game every time. Um, 
I mean, those, 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 those are some that I can remember. Those battles were really, really good. They were really, really good with them. It, it was, it was back and forth, back and forth with them boys. Yeah, the, the, the thing for me, Ocho, is that when we played physical corners, was not mm -hmm. getting to a physical battle with them. No, no, no. Because I, now lose that was, every time. Right, but see me, I wasn't gonna lose it. But then I get, I, I, I forget trying to go. I'm supposed to be out trying to catch a pass right. instead of just beat the hell up out the DB. Mm -hmm. And right. a lot of times, like we played James Hasty, and Hasty, mm -hmm. I know you're gonna see this. Him, bro, I just we like. I mean, sometimes I would just go out there like, hey, I don't even want to catch the pass. I just want to go out there and fight it. <laughs> I just want to go out there and try to run slap over the top of it. I don't want to throw, don't even throw me no, don't even throw the ball my way. Don't right, even look right. at me. Cause I ain't right. even looking to get open. I'm just looking right. to run right over. I'm just gonna run. And when he don't move, I'm gonna put my helmet right up on his chin. Right. Oh, James. <laughs> DC, even mm -hmm. though we homeboys. Yeah, it was just something about like, okay, I know he wasn't gonna be dirty with me, and I wasn't gonna be mm -hmm. dirty with him. Right, but, bro, Kansas City is just like, bro, you at Kansas City, so I know we homeboys. I'm gonna throw that ish out the window for the day. Mm -hmm. For the day, I ain't gonna cut you, I ain't gonna cheap shot you, but you know you're gonna get this work though. Oh yeah, yeah and if mm -hmm. I get a chance to crack back, I'm gonna try to deplete you. You gotta get him out of there. Huh? <laughs> I, I gotta get. I Ocho, I gotta get him. Um, but they were so different. Troy probably was the most athletic. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, Ronnie probably had the most impact. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but but see, the thing is that when they played back then, Ronnie would have been suspended. I mean, you oh. can't hit people like Ronnie was hitting people like Ed Warden was hitting and, people. And they would have been out, out the league. Suspended. <laughs> yes. They would have been All out the league. Running. You you see Kareem Jackson? You see how mm -hmm. Kareem Jackson is about to miss six games? Again? That's the way Ronnie Lock. Yes. Oh, you want to let, let's talk about Ocho. They suspended him for hitting jo Joshua Dobbs. It was a third and one, and they ran a quarterback power. Kareem Jackson comes and hits him in his chest with I his helmet. It. I saw it. Ocho, you're not afforded the same protection as a runner, as a receiver, as a quarterback in the pocket. He's a runner. It's third and one. You no longer get those protections. So what do you do? What, what do you do? On 31, I'm not going to let you fall forward. And he's like, I'm not, if I hit him in his leg, he's going to fall for the first down. He's like, I'm going to hit him in his mouth. So as a defender, what do you do? Because they've handicapped, Nothing. they've handicapped the game, the, the game to uh to a point where it makes no sense, where you just can't, you can't do anything. You can't. And my pushback is, as a runner, you're not afforded the protection as a receiver in the air or right. a quarterback that's in the pocket. You mm -hmm. don't, you are a runner. Right. So what am I, so how am I supposed, especially, Ocho, we coming this way. Mm -hmm. It's third and one. If I tackle you at the legs, what you gonna do? You gonna fall for the fall first down? Fall for the first down. I'm trying to hit you up top to keep you, that's why I like guys tackling the guy around the uh, uh, around the legs on the one yard line. Right. He gonna fall in the end zone. For a touchdown, exactly. So I'm gonna try to keep him getting that first down. I will hit you in your mouth and you're a runner. Yeah. Duh. Um, Next, the, the, um, the, the advice I got for a quarterback, when you see a safety like Kareem Jackson come barreling down, duck. Yeah. Makes no you sense. You don't want to get hit slide. I don't know what to tell you. Makes no sense. Not not That's not crazy. in that situation. Not in that situation. No, he's a runner. He's not afforded protections right. of a defenseless receiver. He's not afforded the protection of a quarterback that's in the pocket. Mm-hmm. He's running the football. He's oh. a running back. You yeah. would have never – the question is, would you ever call that play if it was a running back? No, because mm -hmm. that's what Joshua Dobbs is. Okay. The moment that he has he – have, it's like a power, quarterback right. power, mm -hmm. and he tucks that ball in his arm. He's a runner. He's a runner. He's a runner. That's and crazy. So, and, if, and, if has and me to too. I'm a runner too, and I'm trying to run through his ass. <laughs> Paul, but I've tried to hit it. That's what I oh, – he coming, I'm trying to hit him dead in his mouth. Yeah. You're not going to get this first down. It's going to be fourth down. Y'all got to go for it on fourth. But I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you dead in your chest as hard as I can. You're going to get because you're gonna get, fine. My thing, get suspended too. Ocho, because what you telling me, if your quarterback, if your a coach don't care any more than to have you run it, if he's not protecting you, why should I? Should I? What exactly. Did, what did Tom Brady say? It's not the defensive player's job to protect the offensive, like, players. offensive players. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, the funny he, that's what he it, think of you? What the, what the NFL is doing is the NFL is now putting the defensive players in harm way because now you're going to start trying to tackle in a way that you can't tackle, a way that you haven't been able to play 
all your life and start trying to do something you're not supposed to do, right. and you're going to hurt yourself. And you remember, Ocho, you hurt when they started by the heads and guys started hitting guys in the knees and tearing the yeah. ACLs. Tearing the ACLs? You can't win. You can't win for losing. You can't. You can't. You can't win for losing. Guys, thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. Thank you. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you click that like button and leave your comments. We do read them and we try to get to as many as we possibly can. And so once we get through the football aspect of it, because we do, do we're a football, we're a sports show. And once we get through those, we try to at, uh, uh, answer as many questions on as many topics. Uh, nothing is off limits. I mean, it might be out, off limits. Aaron Muhammad said, oh, you would have been an outstanding attorney. Whoop, there it is. I sure would have. Yeah. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for watching, watching, listening to however you consume Nightcap. Uh, this is a very special episode of Nightcap. It was really Daycap, but thank you for tuning in. We'll see you Sunday after the uh, Sunday night football game. Uh, I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85. AB is a better route runner. <laughs> I love y'all. Okay. I love y'all. I appreciate you. Make sure you tell your family to subscri subscribe. You know who the better route runner is. AB, I know you're going to see this, baby. I love you, baby. Talk to me. Yeah, I think AB got you. AB, the baddest thing out of Liberty City. Listen, I I'm the greatest route runner of all time. AB, the baddest thing out of Liberty City. He is. Okay. But I'm still okay. the greatest route runner of all time. That's that's like being the, the biggest little person in the circus. <laughs> what you doing? You I'm in the, the circus? Greatest, I'm the greatest route runner of all time. I'm going. I'm going. AB. I'm going. AB. <laughs> we're at three. We're at three thirty-five. We're at three thirty-five. We're fifteen thousand away from that lucky number. We're gonna make some people very happy. Remember, Shea by Laportier is pinned at the top of the chat. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Thank you. We'll see you Sunday. I love y'all. Hi, baby. <laughs>